Where'd they go? Hello! One second, let me go call- I need to go call Gura and Amelia into the room. <laughs> I need to go call Gura and Amelia into the room. I was like, haha, no scuff. Let me let me go get him real quick. They're here, they're here. Uh... There they are. <laughs> I knew you guys were here. You were just hiding. Hello. What were you doing under the table? Um Did you drop, I drop some something? Cookies. They were uh They were Good and you're so small. <laughs> hey! Who's Atari? Am I up too high, Gura? Oh oy, my goodness. Oy, 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 oy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have such <laughs> wide range of motion. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Can you guys hear us Hello. okay? Hi, everyone. Hey, I tried to... Kikiriki, I tried I tried to normalize the volume as much as possible. As long as you guys hear them over the background music, that is what is important. So everyone, each individually, go ahead and say hello. First starting off with Gura. I am Gura and I'm excited to roleplay. Yeah! Excellent! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> okay, now let's see. Next up, let's go with Kiara. Yes, it is me, Takanashi Kiara. Kikariki! I am... Um, I'm the phoenix from Hello Live English. I don't know if you knew. Uh, I have a past of playing uh, a TTRPG before. Uh, what? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. A long time ago with my family, with all of my family in, in a family circle, we played a TTRPG, a D Dungeons and Dragons, or something like that. But it's so long ago, I barely remember it. Uh, but I think this will be fun. Mm hmm. Aww. Heck yeah, I actually didn't know that, Kiara. Eh? I had no idea Kiara. that you had. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh! I remember you said that you had experience, but I didn't know that it was, that it was uh, D and D. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed it was, I think, yeah. Dang, you might be better at this than me. <laughs> no, 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 I only played, I never, I only played like for a few rounds and oh. it didn't go on for too long and it was not me who was the, 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 the game master. Oh, I see, I see. Mm. Cool wow, well I hope that you enjoy playing this game with us today. I mean, we're, we're not we're not really playing too much today, we're focusing on character creation, but I hope that you enjoy the campaign. I hope it... Hope it lives up to the hype. I'll try mm. my best. All right. Mm. Next up, we got Ina. Ina, say hello. Wow. Hello. <laughs> I'm uh, Nino by Inanis uh, from Paula English. Yes. Uh, I'm very excited and nervous at the same time. First time playing TTRPG. Actually, this was one of my uh, one of my uh, goals and dreams <gasps> during my debut. So I'm wow. very excited. <laughs> yeah, to finally see you with you guys. <laughs> Yay! I'm so Hi. glad. Yeah. That makes oh, me I'm really happy. Quiet. I it's it's weird, Ina, because I always have you turned up to two hundred percent. It's just my voice is quiet. Hello. I'm so sorry. Everyone else is like I'll at one hundred thirty percent, but but <laughs> yours is at two hundred. I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not what? sure either, actually. Yeah, I turned down the BGM quite a bit, though, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, ye. Um, just maybe shout every once in a while to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Give no us a worries. good wah. <laughs> yeah. Wah. Give, give us a, a good wah to get your attention in, and we'll all, we'll all make sure we listen very closely. 300% the taco. I can't. Discord doesn't give me that power. It's all, it's all right, just use I'll your voice. I'll my voice a little higher, too, on my side. Yeah, it's I'll okay. It on the quieter side. No problem, and and you know what? Chat can can prime their listening ears, okay? Listen up, chat. Reading you listen, you zone in those ears into Ina, okay? <laughs> do your best. Gumbath, you can do it, come on. And let's see, finally we got Watson. Say howdy, Watson. Hello, I'm Amelia Watson. Hello, everyone, it's number one detective. Uh... <laughs> I'm a little sleepy, but uh, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I um, I've played a TTRPG very, very briefly before, and it was like a campaign that somebody had made themselves. So, uh, yeah, I kind of suck at role playing, but I'll try my best. Yee, no worries. Sleepy or sippy? 
Huh? Eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you Thank sleepy you or sippy? Oh, yeah. Sleepy. Ah, oh, okay, because, okay. Did I say it? Did I say it? <laughs> no, you, no, you, no, no, I thought sippy because also you were so, so very energetic in the beginning of your Aww. breathing. I thought you were maybe a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, um, drunk. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 now you were so energetic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, nice. You don't, I don't drink. You are nice. Oh. I mean, we certainly can bring out the drankies. I mean, check out all the stuff that I've got on right, the table so you right have, now. Is it coffee? <laughs> yeah, like coffee, tea, that kind of thing. I'm actually you going to go ahead. Right. I'm going to go ahead and link <laughs> um, the artist who did these amazing background assets and is going to be continuing to do... Um, going to be continuing to do all of the background art for this campaign. And so, no matcha song. Uh, who actually oh. did uh, Amelia's the, Amelia's yeah, office. office art. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we'll go ahead and oh the same artist. Later. Oh, he's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really love um, this person's works. Let me go ahead and throw that Twitter in the description. <laughs> all right. PG <laughs> art. And there you go. Definitely go check out uh, their stuff. Go yeah. give it a look. Heck yeah. All right. And with that being said, um, I guess for the most part, um, we got everything kind of set up. So I guess I'll briefly explain the way that the, the setup is for here. Uh, so we have what's going on. There's a little summary in the upper uh, left-hand corner for people that just drop in, and I'll be actively updating it depending on what's going on in the campaign. Um, oh. Yeah. Yup. Smart. Yeah. Uh, oh. And then and then we have scene, where I will be putting uh, some art related to, I guess, wherever the characters are hanging out, that kind of thing, so you guys can get invested in the scene. Um, and then we have off to the right, uh, the roll, the roll area, which is where you will be able to see the dice that we roll. Right now, you guys can't. Um, it's fine because it's not super necessary right now. We're, we're getting some stuff worked out, uh, so that, so that we can show you that soon. Hopefully in time for the first, I guess, tutorial session and definitely the first main session. So please anticipate that. Yeah. And that's the basic layout. Um, by the way, you guys yeah. may notice that there's a logo that says Dark Pack. Um, oh. Yeah, so we have been very graciously allowed to, to stream our playing of this game um, by World of Darkness. Um, they very kindly... Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Because they very kindly were like, hey, yeah, please play our game. Um, so really recommend that you check out uh, World of Darkness stuff. Um, I'll be putting some links in the description. Um, once I get a little more time, uh, I'll, th I'll throw them in there for you guys to check out. Oh, they're here. Hello. Hello, hello. World of Darkness. Hello. World of Darkness is high. Oh, man. The pressure's on. No, it's okay. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> this game has very, very close to my heart. Um, it is It is my first... It was my first tabletop RPG experience. Uh, Hunter the Vigil uh, was my first Ooh. ever. Um, and I feel like it's... It's much easier to get others um, kind of invested in it. Um, it's probably the easiest to jump into, in my opinion. So mm -hmm. hopefully we'll all have a lot of fun together. But today, today it's about you, ladies. It's about your characters. Um, yay! So... Yay, 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 yay! I'm going to explain to you guys, everyone in chat, uh, and you guys, everyone watching today, what exactly a TTRPG is, because I still feel like there are some people that don't know, so we'll, we'll keep it pretty brief. <laughs> um, I know, I know, you know, I know what okay. it is. All right, Kuzatori, what's a TTRPG? It's a TTRPG between friends. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're definitely mm. not wrong, Kuzatori, I will say, that is that is correct. All right, Kiara, Kiara's not wrong, um, <laughs> though it actually st it actually stands for tabletop role playing game. You guys knew that, Kusatori knew that, but that was a that was a good description, Kiara. That is technically <laughs> what this is. Um, so it's also known as some people may know it as a pen and paper role playing game, but you know, pen and paper not exactly required. 
Um, so basically, it's a form of role-playing game in which the participants describe their character's actions through speech. And the participants determine the actions of their characters based on their characterization, and the actions succeed or fail according to a set system of rules and guidelines. So within the rules, players have the freedom to improvise, and their choices shape the direction and outcome of the game. Oftentimes, they're conducted like a radio drama. So basically, only the spoken component of the role is acted. A lot of a lot of times, you guys will be speaking as your characters. Um, without even saying like, okay, I'm going to speak as so and so. Now I'm going to speak as Bob. You just you just speak as them. Role play. Right, exactly. Yeah. But we all will be able to tell the difference between when you're in character and out of character. Hopefully, if we can't, hey, that's that's probably part of the fun. It's okay. We'll 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 roll with it. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and so yeah, every system is different for the most part. Um. Like, for example, Kiara, you said that you've played D&D. Well, World of Darkness is, is quite different, I would say. For example, one big difference <laughs> is that we use D10s, not D20s. Ah. Do you guys know what, what a, that? a D10 is? a D10? All right. So a D10, well, a D20, you know, is a 20-sided is a die, right? Oh. Yeah. A D10 is a 10-sided die. So D just stands for dice. Exactly. A die. Indeed. Oh, okay. die. Mm-hmm. Die, yep. gotcha, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the main, yeah, we'll be using D10s for this system. Um, and basically rolling those dice will determine uh, your ability to perform an action. Um, so I'll go ahead and go on to the next, the next big difference, the setting. The setting, the world of darkness. So this is literally coming from the world of darkness side. I'm going to read it to you guys, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna do a little, mm, little music change. There we go. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. All right, here we go. Now. <clears throat> Get that GM voice going. <clears throat> what if monsters were real? Not as abominations lurking in the shadows, but cunning predators hiding in plain sight, influencing every aspect of our world in ways we would never dare to imagine. What if you became one of them. What if you didn't? <laughs> I added that in myself because you guys are going to be humans. However, however, <laughs> enter the world of darkness. In the world of darkness, vampires, werewolves, and monsters of many different kinds are all living among us, an entire supernatural world hidden in plain sight. That is the description from the website. Amogus. <laughs> so, Yep. Hey, I knew someone was gonna say that. <laughs> I knew it. Here goes the chat. There they go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? God. I mean, I probably am going to be the most <laughs> sus, to be honest, because I mean, as a GM, it is definitely my job to look for ways to destroy you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm your friend. <laughs> I'm on your side. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, yoing, 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 yoing. Definitely not going for a full party wipe. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I had to chug my coffee really quick. So, basically, um, Hunter the Vigil uh, takes place in this world, of course. You guys are hunters. What does that mean? Well, let me go into this little description that I came up with myself. Here we go. So, oh. imagine now for a moment you are your characters, all right? Only for this second. You don't got to do it the whole time. Just, you know, hold on to it for like 30 seconds or so. Here we go. <clears throat> you were all normal human beings once. Oh. Just living average lives, blissfully unaware of anything at all, the true nature of the darkness lying upon the underbelly of each of your worlds once. Things were simple, but now they ain't, and that's the biggest thing to remember in all of this. This big mess of a predicament you found yourselves in. For example, if only you hadn't moved to that old rickety house in the corner for a quarter of the price just to realize the landlord didn't tell you about the demons that never left the ancient burial ground below it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> If only you hadn't stumbled into that club of cute boing boing onesans only to realize the owner is a vampire gangster and the ladies, well, they ain't exactly human either. Might be a good thing though. It's kind of hot. I was gonna say, and that's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a really, it's not really a bad thing. You'll see 
it's because, because you got dragged into the world of darkness. Listen. Boy, 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 boy. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, say, for example, again, if only you hadn't been rummaging around in an old alleyway for scraps of food, only to discover this neighborhood's night watch is a band of werewolves who aren't so keen on your kind and what they've done to their city. Things could have been normal, but now they aren't. And it's because you figured out a little secret. Nothing is as it seems. Monsters walk, I'm not gonna say it again, they walk with us. <laughs> they walk beside us. <laughs> there be monsters out there. There, there do be monsters out there. And now, <laughs> things will never be the same for you guys. But you're a lucky bunch, you know? Because the timing of it all was on your side. You don't gotta go through this alone. It turns out three other strangers are right there with you. Each of them encountered something truly frightening, something supernatural. Unable to return back to the doldrums of that boring, blissfully boring and ignorant life, you search for a new way to exist. To keep up the vigil. In the end, wow. you realize that there really was only one answer, to embrace it. That cool with you guys? Are you cool with embracing it? I, I would embrace, embrace it. it. I would um, love to embrace it. Should we roll for that? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, not yet. What kind of embrace are we talking about? Wait, now listen. <laughs> Listen! Nothing comes after that, listen. <laughs> Welcome to your cell. <laughs> Pray you earn the strength to find the key to breaking out of it. Hopefully, together. The, the cell, the c <laughs> Embrace, wow, that was fast. <laughs> I mean, I mean, hopefully they will. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll die in the tutorial session. That's cool too. Hey, I'm fine uh, with that. Oh no. <laughs> the, uh, the word Bring cell is a place- <laughs> It's, it's a play on words here, so it could sound like prison cell, right? But you see there are actually uh, three tiers of organization in hunter society, okay? First, you've got cells. Basically, um, there's there's the basic human, 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 unit. <laughs> hunter unit, unit. <laughs> A human, yeah. <laughs> Unit of hunter society, typically a small group of people who defend their neighborhood or community. So there may be there may be several cells, for example, operating in a city at one time. So you guys are a small hunter cell, apparently. Oh. Right. Next up, uh, on the next level, you've unit. got compacts. Yeah, exactly. We're so, one brain cell. <laughs> yeah, one whole brain cell between between the four of you. <laughs> Sounds about right. be easy. Yeah. yeah. I'm used to it. Yeah. <laughs> so after cells are compacts, they're basically the second tier um, of organization found in Hunter the Vigil. So they're basically organized cells of hunters dedicated to a common purpose. But still, compared to conspiracies, they're they're pretty much baby town. You know, they're they're new, unstable, the members fight a lot. They're easy to find and join. But, you know, it's still not Is quite it up worth to level it? conspiracy. Exactly. Is it worth it? Exactly. You guys may encounter several uh, compacts as well as conspiracies along the way. Other hunters that are doing their jobs, right? So oh. the conspiracies are the highest tier of hunter society and they've got a lot of resources. They're run by very powerful people and their reach can extend across the planet. So do be careful. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Hopefully they're friendly. Um, so with that being said, Ladies, welcome to Mythbreakers campaign. That's what we've decided to call it for now. Just, that, that's oh. that's Mythbreakers. Yeah. Oh wait. I like that. I was laughing because I was thinking Mythbusters. Up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Dare we ask for the okay to use Mythbusters? I think Mythbreakers off to work. Oh, Mythbusters. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking Ghostbusters. Monsterbusters. Yee. Monster Busters. Yee. <laughs> So the myth, the myth breakers campaign is basically this this campaign. But overall, the the game itself is is Hunter Myth, which is why you guys can use hashtag Hunter Myth on Twitter to talk about uh, your impressions of the game and what's going on, that sort of thing. We'll put all the hashtags out there uh, towards the end. Yeah. So each one of you will encounter a supernatural being that will open your eyes to the world of darkness you never knew existed. Anyone here seen The Matrix? By chance? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. 
Okay, here, let me explain to you what happens then. So basically there's a dude that's living like a normal life and whatever, and he gets presented with a blue pill and a red pill. And he can choose to take the blue pill and he'll wake up again in his bed and just keep living his normal life. Or he takes the red pill and, spoilers, God, The Matrix has been out for a long time, takes the red pill and discovers um, that actually all of humanity has been enslaved by machines and he's actually living um, in a pod completely naked along with the rest of humanity, um, and was pretty much birthed in there. And uh, machines uh. are using humans for energy, and so he breaks out and joins uh, a force of people trying to stop that shit. It's all because he took the red pill, right? Things oh, weren't as they seemed. That's where the meme comes from. Exactly. Blue pill. Yeah, that's, <gasps> don't take the red pill. Oh, oh I see. Okay, thank yep. you. Yeah, no problem. So that's, that's basically, you guys have, you guys have forcibly forcibly taken the red pill uh, into monster society, world of darkness society. You didn't know that supernaturals existed until now, and the only way that you can cope is by keeping up the vigil. What does that mean? You'll find out later, but let's let's go ahead and get into this character creation, you guys. Oh, Sound good? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, ready. All right. Let's go! So oh, character wow. creation is really important. We're gonna go hop over here. All right, here we are. So. I have my example character sheet. Character creation oh. is important here, obviously. We are largely focusing on role play though. I will say this one time. Just need to give this little disclaimer to you guys. Um, we will be using uh, the system, of course, as it is written um, as, as a very helpful guide for us on our journey. However, role play is king in the games that IGM. If the characters can come up with a, a very clever way to get out of a bad situation, um, even a fail can pass as a success if they are clever. All right? Mm -hmm. Very important. Mm -hmm. that nice. We do clever. Being clever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good at that. Being clever was never <laughs> my forte. <laughs> I I'm sure oh, it'll nice. be fun. You'd be surprised, man. You'd be surprised. Who could say? Who could say what your character will come up with? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So I can probably read a little bit more from the book later, but right now I want to get you guys into the into the character creation zone, so to speak. All oh. right. So let's go ahead and pull up your Hunter the Vigil sheet. You ladies uh, got this all prepared, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Hi. Wonderful. So I'll be Cam creating. Fencing. Yeah. I'll be creating a sample character along with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. We're going to first, however, uh, go around the room, and I just want to hear the most basic of basic things that you guys have planned for your character. You don't have to have any big plans for them or even a detailed description. It could be something like washed up detective, um, veterinarian. <laughs> hey, why'd you giggle, girl? <laughs> <laughs> what was that giggle for? I caught that. Um, you could be fast food restaurant owner. Mm-hmm. Who's that? You? Kelly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's who I was obviously referring to, Kiara. <laughs> mm. You could be, um, you could be just a, um, I don't know, a, a, a child Thank who's you. really good at drawing. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> you, you're, you're not a child, Ina, but sometimes I look at you like, oh, you're so small. It's the first thing I thought of. Child. It's the first thing I thought of. You could be, um... Baby you, Kiara. You can't baby be... Kiara. Yeah, baby Kiara. That's who I was referring to. I mean, Kiara's good at drawing. That's Wait, who I, I was talking I about. Can, I can legit be baby Kiara. Here's my... Oh man, here we go, oh, here we go. This is all your fault, guys. This is your fault. Don't don't you blame me. <laughs> I'll put it away before people go crazy. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, Kiara. All in good fun. <laughs> Lastly, I was I was gonna say you could be you could be a many thousands of years old shark girl from the ocean, but then I realized, wait a minute, you We're can't humans. You can't. You literally can't. Oh, this is tough yeah. for some of us. <laughs> So, but you guys, you guys basically get the gist. So let's go around the room and hear what you guys kind of have planned. If anyone would like to volunteer to go first. Me. Okay. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Don't everybody jump at once. Don't, <laughs> Don't everybody jump at once. 
was just reading the air in the room for a moment and was like, okay, I see what, what I have to do. <laughs> like the uh, five seconds of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so do I just start with uh, giving you my description? Mm, sure, go ahead. Whatever you have. We'd okay. be happy to hear it. Okay, listen up, everyone. So the name is maybe not final, but... Um, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Tiara. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like very original. Tiara is a young woman who trains and owns crows and owls. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Oh, crows and owls. Oh, yeah. Is it name your crow? Yes, we wait for it, Ina. <laughs> okay. Uh, she grew up in another continent in a rich family where she had a pet owl called Uhu. Um, I think maybe my German viewers will understand. Which is her favorite and still follows her to this day. She also knows how to use guns and carries two with herself because her brother is a hunter. Uh, but she herself does not like to fight very much. She mostly does it to protect herself and her birds. She originally came to this continent to find more rare species of birds and, you know, train them and own them. Since she came from a different continent, however, she doesn't speak uh, this language here perfectly. And communica communication issues arise sometimes. Mm -hmm. Also, her clothing style seems foreign and out of place, so she gets a lot of weird looks. Um, she's more a quiet type of person who doesn't trust people easily. She has a habit of forgetting where she puts things, but usually her owl knows what she's looking for and brings it to her. Uh, she also doesn't understand technical stuff much and doesn't know how to use her phone except for taking cute photos of her birds. The end. Wow! <laughs> that God. was so detailed! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> bites, bites, I tried to give. Uh, I mean, I'll definitely work more on it, but I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try to give her already some kind of uh, hints of personality and hints of um, uh, negative uh, traits, like her forgetting things and her not being perfectly able to communicate, um, stuff like that. That will, you know, that she will not be overpowered later on, but mm. she also can fight because she uses guns because you know there are reasons for why she. Uh, yeah, is is this kind of person? <laughs> wow! I did my homework, Kelly. You me did. <laughs> okay. Bonk, 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 bonk. You, you <laughs> did. You did <laughs> real good, Kusatori. Wow, that was very detailed. You thought so much about that. I can already see your character coming to life in the world that I have planned. That is amazing. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Very next. well. Very well done. All right. Who's next on the chopping block? I mean, I mean, who's? <laughs> <laughs> Who's next to share with the class? <laughs> uh, I'll share. I share mine. Okay, Watson, let's see what you got. Mine is Watoto. Goblin <laughs> <laughs> like conspiracy nut who uh, is here to dismantle the system as much as they can. And, uh, a little sleazy, you know? A little oh sleazy. God. What's, what's, what's that's, that's all I have. <laughs> that is perfect. That is that is the perfect. Dismantle the system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I can already tell we're gonna have some good interactions with Watoto. <laughs> Watoto. <laughs> Watoto. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, more communication uh, problems. Yes, yes. <laughs> I look forward to your interactions with the others. This oh, is going to be fun. The only thing Watoto can say is Watoto. <laughs> <laughs> Watoto. 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 Turns out that Watoto is not one of the hunters, but is one of the monsters that we're supposed to hunt. <laughs> Nobody knew the whole time. Uh, it's a Watoto. Oh, blend in so well. Watoto. Oh. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> Absolutely perfect, Watson. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right, who's who's next? Uh, I can go. All right, Gura. Let's see what you've got uh, planned. Uh, my ideas are a little uh, spread out still. Okay. Um, uh, I don't really know exactly what I want to do, but the idea I have is I want to do a because I wanna I wanna role play this character really well. I want to do a a a dark mystery lady who <gasps> who I have written down here. I've been writing down in my notebook. Uh. I have like the shadows. 
right? So mm-hmm. she either she moves like the shadows or she stays in the shadows predominantly. Oh, wow. Uh, as I was thinking about her profession, and I don't know if she's either she's either going to be a traveling banjo bard or potentially some type of mercenary of some sort, but I don't really know quite yet. Oh, neat. Mm. That's awesome. I mean, in the end, if you want, if you want, uh, she can be both, even. But, um, um, both. Yeah, mm. yeah, we can work out the, the details later, but that's already a fantastic start. Oh, great. Yay. <laughs> yeah, just, just knowing, um, like, a basic idea can really help you out when we start assigning skills and that kind of thing. So that's a great start, Gura. Yay. 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 Good, good, good. And finally, we've got Ina. Ina. So I was I was thinking about maybe having a mad a scientist type of character. But <laughs> in reality they're just a very tired grad student. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and uh they're like scientist and inventor so they can mm-hmm. like make stuff on the fly. Ooh. Um, but oh. um, they're kind of I guess they have a pessimistic way of looking at life. And, mm. But and then but they think that uh, you know all the uh, all the uh, monsters and stuff they can't be as scary or dark as the confines of human society. Oh. That's it. <laughs> that is really neat, actually. Mm. Mm. A good wow. scientist is good to have in our team. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I agree. will be super helpful. So wait, so wait, wait, wait. I fight with guns. Mm. Ina maybe has some scientist stuff. Mm-hmm. Good on. Mm-hmm. Did you say what, what you would maybe could could pr- possibly use in a fight? I don't have your weapons or anything. Y- you don't have any weapons? I don't have any. I'll mean, think about it now, though. Yeah, I mean, I have really long nails. <laughs> 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 I already love this character. Well, you see, (laughs) Gura, you've got quite a few options. So, for example, you could have your character be very good at punching things. Um, Yeah. yeah. There's a whole range. There's a whole range. Kicking kicking people. Since Gura is in the shadow, she'll be like a good assassin kind of, you know, sneak behind you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was was thinking about having her be a, a a career. A male person, somebody with a male, and they could do something like some kind of power with male, like paper, paper, something. Some I don't know. My brain's oh, still throwing cards. <gasps> something like that. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> the paper cuts are scary. <laughs> paper so, cuts something. are scary. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I was thinking because it could also have. I, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking. This is a big thing. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's a great idea. It's always great to have some starting point, and then over time, you will gradually kind of be able to, I guess, um, better, better um, adjust to the character, and you'll figure out how to play them perfectly. Maybe around session two and a half or so. That's how it was with me. So you don't need to figure everything out immediately. Um, but as long as you've got a base, and it sounds like you've got a great starting point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So. We're gonna go ahead and dive into these uh, character sheets and we'll show each of your character sheets at the end. So, first off, let's start with the easy part. Um, I say easy part, but it may actually be one of the harder parts. Uh. This part right here that says name, player, chronicle, virtue, vice, concept, profession, compact, conspiracy. It's the very top, right Um, under the um, 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 Okay, that's where we're gonna start. So you guys can leave some things blank because honestly, I feel like this information might even be like the harder stuff to decide upon and you may want to take your time on it. Um, mm-hmm. But for the sake of example, I'm going to go ahead and name my character. Chat, what's the name of my character? <laughs> what's the name of my character, chat? <laughs> Let's see what they come up with. And player oh, is God. going to be Callie. So you guys can go ahead and write your names. Okay. Right here. <laughs> Chad, all right, Chad. <laughs> my character's name is Chad and um, he's a Chad. There you go. No um, way. <laughs> yeah. That was surprising. I'm not surprised at all. It's it's my chat after all. <laughs> um, so let's see. After that, um, let's skip Chronicle for now. Go to Virtue and uh-huh. Vice. Virtue and Vice. What do you guys think that stands for? Uh, your, your purity, your intentions, your... <laughs> 
Why? What's so funny? <laughs> that sounds better than I would have. Yeah. I would have said good. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's right. right. So mm -hmm. we're go <laughs> we're going to go we're going to go with um the the seven there there are seven main virtues and vices just to keep it nice and easy for you guys. Oh, if you want is quick it like search. Sins? Exactly. S uh, seven oh. is it the seven deadly sins? I think so. Yeah. Oh. So, let me go ahead and actually look them up to give like to you wrath guys or sloth. Exactly. Oh. Oh, my middle name. <laughs> Let me see if I can find an easy place to just throw to you guys. So here you go, actually. And I'll send it in the main chat. There you go. You guys can use this list uh, to just keep it nice and easy. So we've got, for virtues, charity, faith, Fortitude, hope, justice, prudence, and temperance. For vices, we have envy, gluttony, greed, lust, pride, sloth, and wrath. These will be important later on because your character can get special bonuses, I will explain later, if they take an action that is related to either their virtue or their vice. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm? So it's important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Chad, uh, not definitely not temperance, 100% not prudence. Um, let's go with justice. Justice. Mm -hmm. No, actually, let's go with fortitude. Fortitude is a good one uh, if you have like a really hard time coming up with which one to do, because it basically just means the will to push through tough things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm. I go with prudence. Is, yeah. It, I was gonna ask, is prudence, is there like a, a generally a safe option and the rest are more uh, taking greater risks for, uh, does that make sense? Yeah, I, I definitely, kind of I get what you mean. If you look at the, the link that I sent you in particular, um, mm. for example, looking at fortitude, um, usually possessed by detectives, philosophers, scientists, priests, true believers, etc. Um, you know, other names, there are other names there. And then also, willpower gained is the important part. So willpower is going to be uh, important in this game. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna say how yet, though. You guys will, you guys will see in-game. Uh. <clears throat> but you want it, is the thing. The character is able to withstand pressure to sway from a chosen course or diverge from long-held ideals. So you see that they're, they're leaning into their, their virtue, right? So if your action reflects that, if your action shows that you have fortitude, um, for example, you withstand something very difficult, then you will gain willpower. I will give it to you. So if you think ah. that you're going to play your character in that kind of way, where they'll be in that kind of situation often, withstanding really tough things like that, um, then you want to choose fortitude, I would say. I okay. see. Yeah, I, I have faith and have my Oh, no, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> and faith, oh, nice. Cool. I'm, I'm going for prudence and pride. And no, I'm not going for lost chat. I'm not trying to make a Takanashi Kiara. I'm trying oh, to make a different character. Oh my god. And even if I was making Kiara, it wouldn't be lost. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. Maybe Chad is the true bottom left. Hold on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. For example, I want Chad as a vice uh, to have sloth because a lot of times instead of going out and doing the mission, Chad will stay at home playing pool and cracking open cold ones with the boys because Chad is in a uh, fraternity. <laughs> there you go. What a useless dude. Can we kick him out mm. already? <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys will get a chance to, I'm sure. But for now, Chad is here to stay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Now, next concept. This is also pretty open-ended, but first, have you guys kind of decided virtue and vice? You don't need to decide immediately, but... Uh -huh. I have seen. Okay, great. So for concept, this one's also not too difficult. You basically come up with it in your own words. It's basically a short description of your character. So, for Chad, mm. um, shitty fraternity boy. 
Shitty Cal fretboard. Ra <laughs> bird trainer? Is that Sure. Fitting? Yeah, okay. you can make it as descriptive or non-descriptive as you would like. I think there's an actual word for that. Which one was it? Fal falconist? <laughs> Falcon perch! Sorry. Yeah, so, so, oh, something like that. Punch. <laughs> Falconer, thank you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there a limit to this? Can it be one long concept or Sure. I mean, ah. if you want if you want as much as you can fit into that small space, go for it. Maybe Falcon Punch is my super attack. <laughs> yeah. You say it like, like Falcon Punch. I can totally hear you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm looking at something real quick. A profession is the same thing for me, I think. Kind of. There's a job, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm working ahead, Sensei. <laughs> Good, that's fine. For, for profession, I'm just gonna put no. Have you ever, like, worked ahead on your homework and then, like, you realize it's all wrong, so you to, like, sadly erase everything? I had to yeah. do that before. Sorry. No, no, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> That's the entirety of this stream for me so far is... Oh, wait. That's okay. It, it happens. I remember I was the same in the beginning, too. I did not know what was going on. I remember <laughs> the character creation stream for my original group of friends playing this game took like five hours. But I know that we won't take that long. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. And I guess uh, for Chronicle, let's just, let's just put Myth Breakers for now. Oh, okay. Yeah, because at least the the way that that me and the homies did it back in the day is we just put the name of our game that we were playing. So just do that. Because obviously, you know, we're, okay. we've got the other details of the campaign down. So just just the name uh -huh. of our of our game. And compact and conspiracy. You guys haven't decided on a name yet for your group, so just leave it blank. Okay. Um, yup. So we've got that part done. Yata. Yata. Now we go hey. on to the fun part. Character oh, creation yeah. run. Yeah. Oh, so this part is a little more technical. So I'm gonna I'm gonna explain and I will re-explain as many times as you guys need me to. Hi, Sensei! <laughs> Alright. Okay. So we're going to work on attributes. This thing here. Attributes. Huh. Now mm -hmm. Let me explain first the dice rolling in this game. You guys have d10s, right? How many d10s, though, do you have? Do you know? Do you know how many dice you're rolling? No. Exactly. You don't, because... Because... We haven't put the dots in yet. We haven't assigned the dots. However many uh. dots you have for a certain roll will reflect how many dice you roll when you're performing an action. What? Right. Oh. I didn't so, know that. That's cool. <laughs> so, okay. for example, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. say that you want to do one of the most central roles in this game, which is a perception check. Perception what? check is basically to look around. You roll to look around and see what the F word is uh, going on. Sanity check. Yes. <laughs> a little different. <laughs> a little different, but the, 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 the sentiment is there. <laughs> so, basically... <laughs> The perception check is going to be your wits plus your composure. Dots. Oh. So for example, say that you have, this is just for example, you have two resolve and three composure. Dots. Mm -hmm. When I say roll perception, you, you do the math. Resolve, two, plus three, composure. You roll five d10s. Oh. And basically, um, how many successes you get from that roll will determine whether the the action succeeds or fails. Kind of thing. We'll go more in depth a bit later, but just so you know what you're doing, like why you are assigning dots into different areas, I suppose, it's important that you know that that's how it works. Do we have a limited amount of dots we can fill in? Yes. Oh wait, why did I put resolve? <laughs> no, it was it was wits and composure. You guys are right. Sorry about that. Um, yes, uh -huh. you are limited. You are limited. So if you go down to the bottom of the sheet and read the fine print, 
-hmm. down here. Ah. Attributes. Ah. Five, <laughs> four, three. What that means is that, let's see, for each box, you can either have five, four, or three dots assigned to the box. For example, ah. let's take Chad. Chad is a Chad who is very social. So for presence manipulation and composure, I'm going to put the five here. I have five dots to spend in this particular area. Oh. Uh, Chad is not really the brightest light bulb in the box. <laughs> so for intelligence, wits, and resolve, we're gonna put three. Only three dots to assign to Chad there. And when it comes to strength, dexterity, and stamina, Chad can hold his own in a fight, I guess. So we'll go ahead and give him four. Four in each? Uh, four for the whole box. So, for example, ah. strength, dexterity, and stamina, I have four dots to spend. Where am I going to put them? Well, Chad has quite a bit of dexterity, so we'll give him two dots more in stamina, and then two more in strength, but he's just not very dexterous. So it looks like this. Hmm. Mm. Let's say for intelligence, wits, and resolve, um, Chad doesn't have, a lot, as I said before, not really the brightest light bulb in the box, but he can be a little witty. So we'll give him two dots in wits and put one in resolve. Uh, and that's three dots uh, used. What is, it, sorry, what is, it, what does, um, how would you describe presence? Uh, presence is, mm, let's see, that's a, that's a tough one. You're kind of, it'll be more involved in roles where you are, you are trying to do an action um, that really puts yourself out there. For example, a musical performance. You would roll presence plus expression. So you'd want more dots in presence. Oh. Or perhaps you want to... Uh, persuasion, it can go either way. I think it might be a manipulation role if you want to persuade someone to think mm. a certain way or do something. Um, but basically, yeah, charisma for the most part. With presence, you're but, really putting yourself out there. Uh, it, it's, it's charisma? Yeah, it's similar, I would say. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Can I put all points into one? Yeah, that's called min-maxing, uh, Watson. Um, you're, you're very focused on a certain area of your character. Um, and that's totally fine, too. Have fun, go for it. How Which one is luck? Manipulation? Yeah, sure, whichever whichever one you want. No! Get that Get ready to be manipulated. to make us think she's human, even though she's a monster. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> oh man, here we go. <laughs> Watch me, Toto. Wait, how, how would you describe resolve? Um, let's see. So, resolve is basically your your will to do something. In a pinch, when your chips are down, um, inside mm. you still have your resolve. Mm. At the at the end of all of it. And mm. wits is being smart. Wits is in in my personal description of wits. It's being smart in the moment. Oh, hum, hum, hum. Whereas intelligence, intelligence is like being more like, okay, intelligence. Exactly, okay. long term. Is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I get an explanation of that one more time? Sure. Uh, I, 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 uh, sorry. That's okay. What would you like an explanation on? Everything? Uh, just just the, the splitting the points per oh. box. Okay, sure. So the rule is five, four, three. Um, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so if you actually, um, I don't, you girls can't see my sheet. I'm hoping maybe you can pull up YouTube uh, so that you can see it there. Um, hmm. But yeah, three, four, five. So there are three boxes. Yeah. And so each one is split up um, to where you can put either five dots, four dots, or three dots um, into each box. So you have to decide what your strength is going to be. So for example, your character, Gura, um, you said you were gonna choose someone kind of mysterious? Hmm, yeah. So maybe she doesn't need to be too strong in presence manipulation and composure. You want a little, for example, manipulation might be helpful. So maybe in that box, you put three. Three dots, mm. because it's your weaker, your weaker um, role, I suppose. My box yeah, is exactly. broken. Oh no. Are you are you Weird. using the PDF, the editable PDF thing? Yeah. Dang it. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll just take a screenshot later and color it in. Okay. Sounds good. Um, but then say for example, um, if you're going to be doing uh, sneaky things, Gura, maybe you mm. want to have five 
um, in the box that has strength, dexterity, and stamina so that you can be very dexterous. Or intelligence, wits, resolve. You could do five as well. Okay. Yeah. Because it's up to you, pretty much. Um, for Chad, we're going to go ahead and put... Um, let's see. Um, presence... He's he's Chad, so we're gonna give him we're gonna min max the hell out of Chad in presence. We're gonna give him three dots, um, in presence, and then one in manipulation. Oh. And actually, no, we'll put two in manipulation because he's gotta haze the newbies. Um, and composure is just one dot because you know Chad freaks out sometimes. So looks like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So if you guys want like a, a visual idea of what it looks like, um, hopefully hopefully you can see okay on YouTube. It's not too pixely or anything, but mm -hmm. basically looks like this. Ow. Yeah. Any questions? Nope. I think it's clear. Okie dokie. Nice from me. <laughs> yeah. I finished. Yay. Nice. Wait, wait, I have one more question. What is resolve? What is there? What, what, what would yeah. resolve mean? So resolve is basically just, it's the will to, uh, to like take an action and like kind of stand through difficult things. Um, for ah, example, this will be a really helpful stat when like someone is, or like a supernatural or another person is trying to manipulate you or using oh. some kind of special power, that kind of thing. You, I'll have you do like a resolve check kind of thing. <laughs> So you hey, might okay. want to have uh. some resolve. Okay, thank you. Yes. It will be very useful. Um and yeah, I guess I guess that's about that's about it, huh? For the attributes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the next really fun part, which is skills. You guys are yeah. Yeah. gonna really start thinking about your characters here. So for skills, uh -huh. again, like attributes, we have three sections. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, this time they're labeled mental, physical, and social skills. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> so minus one on skill. Yeah, the way of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be important later, by the way, that part. Um, <laughs> so, so, for your skills, like attributes, remember we had 5, 4, 3. For skills, oh. we have 11, 7, 4. Oh. So, it's pretty much the same situation here. For social skills, Chad is Chad. So, I'm going to put 11 in social. Um, uh -oh. mental, not so great. I'm going to put four dots in mental skills and seven in physical. <laughs> so let's see. Seven let's four. Right. So once you guys figure that out, it'll be kind of easier to assign the dots. But you should put a bit of thought into it because this will directly, uh. this is what makes up your roles in the game. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So let's see. Um, for example, Chad with them social skills. Um, Chad's expression. I think I will definitely do many roles that involve expression. So let's go ahead and put maybe, I don't know, just for now we'll put two. I'd like him to be well-rounded. Uh, two, <laughs> two dots in expression. Maybe one in intimidation for times I want to intimidate others, you know, to do like hazing and whatnot because I'm Chad. Um, persuasion, one dot. Socialize is going to be three dots because you got to socialize those frat parties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> streetwise and subterfuge, I don't really need. Um, dude has like no empathy, but I have so many dots, so I might as well kind of make this guy super powerful and socialize. We'll put. Another dot in there. Maybe one in subterfuge. Probably doesn't know his way around the streets. Kinda likes dogs, so I'll put one dot in animal ken. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'll put one more in uh, intimidation. Eleven. I've used up all the dots. Ah, uh, I see. What does subterfuge mean? It means being real sneaky. Oh. Usually doing things like, um, I oh, know that's larceny. Um, <laughs> being it, you're a good liar. <laughs> real good liar. <laughs> what would expression be? Um, expression would be for something like a musical performance. Ah, uh, okay. I yeah, see. you're expressing yourself. Like, um, ah, uh, mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or oh, maybe even fun. like... I like yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or maybe even like trying to get yourself out of a sticky situation, like when you're when you're having negotiations with another with another cell or or that kind of thing. Maybe some supernaturals are in your way and you're trying to get yourself out of a bad situation, but not necessarily persuade them. You'd use expression. Mm. Mm. Oh. And then, what is the? There's like a checkbox to the left of every item listed. Yes. What is that for? So that is for uh, your skill, or not your skills, your specialties. So oh, you guys man. get three, okay? We'll go into oh. those next. We'll go into specialties okay, okay. after we've filled out these here. But, okay. yeah. And, uh, crafts would be some, like, building something, or? Exactly. Ah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Roll to craft something, like maybe an explosive. Or ah. maybe you're good at making weapons out of weird stuff. Mm -hmm. What would, under the same category, mental, what would a, a, a cult be? A cult is knowledge of spooky things. Aye. And supernaturals. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep. And let's see. What else do we got here? Um, let's see. For Chad, mental. This is going to be rough. Um, because for mental, you can see it says minus three unskilled. What that means is that um, there is a minus three dice penalty uh, if you have no dots in that in that skill. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's rough. <laughs> All the others are just minus one unskilled. Mm. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you like a little example of what this means for you in game. So let's say you're playing a grandma. Um <laughs> And Grandma just has no dots in computer whatsoever. She's really not very good with technology. Um, so let's say we're gonna use we're gonna use wits for this role just because she's making a quick internet search on where she can get some high quality thread for her newest knit scarf for her granddaughter. So she does a wits and computer role. She has two dots in wits in this situation. Okay, let's say that our grandma has two dots in wits, but no dots in computer. Because she is unskilled, that's a minus three penalty to her roll. Do you know how many mm. dice Grandma has now? What is two minus three? Negative one. Correct. <laughs> because yeah. because it's, because it's it, negative grandma? one. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying her best. Because it is negative one, when Grandma rolls to do that check, that internet search check, um, she has to roll. A, she has to roll something. You can't roll negative one dice, right? So, we give Grandma one die. It's a pity die, all right? Mm. She has to roll it. Now, mm. in this situation, um, because she only has one, uh, and because it's below, it's zero or below. Mm, maybe just below zero is fine. Because that roll is below zero, um, it's treated differently. Her result is treated differently. Uh, as like a normal roll would be. So grandma needs to get a 10 to succeed at this. <laughs> if she doesn't get a 10, she fails. No pressure, grandma. If she gets a one, here's what happens. Here's what happens if grandma gets a one. Grandma realizes that she forgot to reload her shotgun the other day. So she loads up her shotgun while she's trying to simultaneously search for this thread for a knit scarf. And accidentally, the gun goes off, shoots the computer, the computer explodes into bits, falls out the window, hits someone on the head, somebody dies. Grandma rolls back on her chair, falls over the banister, breaks three oh, ribs, no. has to go to the hospital, no. and she doesn't she doesn't get her, her knit scarf. It's rough yeah, for grandma. Oh my god. It's called a dramatic fail, so be sure that you watch out for those. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. 
Yeah. Poor grandma. Doesn't she have a grandson to help her out? What the hell? Maybe that's maybe that's the happy end of the story. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> Let's go with that. Maybe she'll knit that scarf someday. But because she didn't have any any skill points in computer, it ended poorly for grandma when she rolled one on a one d on a wait one d ten one d ten. Let's yeah. just hope she doesn't uh, call the tech support and falls for a scam, you know? Yeah, we gotta warn grandma. grandma about that. Poor grandma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure that this kind of situation doesn't happen to you guys. Be very wary of those dramatic <gasps> fails. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's see. For Chad, maybe Chad um, is like decent at computer. Academics, quite good. Very high GPA. So we'll put two dots for him there. And then, um, let's see. Maybe he knows a little about science. I mean, he's, ta he's taken enough college courses to have like a basic idea. So there we go. Four dots in mental skills for Chad. But the good news is that Chad's not going to be doing many of those roles because surely there's someone else in his cell that is better experienced in mental capabilities. So that's the good news. Oh. Oh, for physical, um, Chad ran track, so we're gonna give him two dots in <laughs> athletics. Um, can he throw a punch? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, probably like one little punch. It's kind of weak. Um, let's see. Larceny? Chad's stolen something once or twice in his life. Drive? I'm sure that he, he got his driver's license, maybe. Possibly. Firearms? Can he <laughs> use a gun? Uh, maybe he'll pretend that he can use a gun, but he really can't. He's That's dangerous. Stealthy. Yeah, he has dangers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One in stealth, and then let's see. We'll go ahead and put one more in athletics because Chad really did run track. Was number <laughs> one on the track team. Legs never missed it. The eighth. Yeah, that's right. And so this is what skills look like for your boy. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Me, me too. too. Yeah, nice. Me too. Heck yeah, you guys. Now, let's go on to specialties. You guys get three. Now, when it comes to specialties, basically, you choose one of these skills, and you choose something to be very proficient in, and you get a plus one to your role. Um, mm -hmm. So, for example, I want one of Chad's uh, specialties to be in athletics, and it's, it's uh, running away. Running away. Now, when Chad is in a situation where he's running ah. away from something, oh. I'll roll athletics plus, let's see, in this situation, um, I'm going to make it a strength in athletics roll. Um, let's see, three plus three is six, and then plus the specialty in athletics is seven. Because Chad has a specialty in running away. Now, the way that I do it is your specialty can be in anything. Anything. Some people don't play that they way. Some people want to keep Melissa. Um. Ah, that's a good question. I would say no. At least that's oh, that's no. not how I played it back in the day. You had to have like some some at least one dot in there. Ah, uh, okay. So let's let's go ahead and go with go with that. That that would be well, fine. These though. are difficult. Hard to think of something. Mm. I think there's a list as well if you'd like to choose from a list. Let me go find it. Oh, but I, I like to see you guys get that. creative. Uh, but you can also choose from a list. So let me see. So we get one per category. Um, is that it. I mean, it depends on how how you want to play it. Um, at least in the campaign that I was a part of, um, we were allowed to put all of them in. Like, for example, physical. Maybe you have a specialty in athletics, brawl, and drive. Um, and no specialty in another area. Um, mm. That was just, that was the way that we played it. I think it's it's more fun to just let you guys have the freedom to do what you want in that regard. Oh, we only get three? Only three. Okay. Mm. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Here's some specializations for you guys. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, thank you. There, there are a lot to look through. Um, Oh so my god. If you find something that seems nice. Let's see. Fast striking grappling. Mm, let's see. Stunt driving. Maybe Chad was a stunt driver in another life. Let's have him be a stunt driver. <gasps> like monster trucks? Oh no, yeah, you Yeah, he driver, loves like... monster trucks. 
like car flips and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Which one is the one that get does a good good drift? Yeah. <laughs> Kansai <Right>. Drifto. <laughs> Chad Drifto. Yeah. Yes. Chad Drift. Roll to drift. <laughs> nice. Now let's see. Last. Um. <laughs> um. I'm gonna put our right, socialize specialization in frat parties. There we go. Okay, yeah. I'm putting gunslinger in firearms. Yeah. And... So when Chad is rolling to um, socialize at a frat party, I'd have him roll his presence plus his socialize. So presence is four dots. Socialize is four dots, that's eight. Plus specialty in frat parties, that's nine D10s I get to roll. That's a big roll. Oh. Wait, drive is literally drive? I thought it meant like more of a. Never oh, mind. like I, I get what you mean. I get you. Yeah, no, it is in fact uh, to drive a car I'm or some driving. vehicle. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wonder who will be the driver. I'm the drift master. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that driver. Mm. Ah. Mm. Don't mind me just chugging coffee on the side. Oh, does yeah. that? Specials you have to be like in the list you provided or can you just put like something that you think fits? Um, I mean different different groups play it different ways I want you guys to be as creative as possible So if you think of something oddly specific, but you think you'll use it in the game, I'll let you do it okay. Unless it's something like my character has a specialty in being alive or like specialty in talking you got to get a little more specific <laughs> Is it too? Too crazy um, to give myself the specialty in animal can of of being able to talk to burps. No, that's perfectly fine. I'd be really? okay with that. Yeah. yeah but I that's, I uh, can crazy. humans really talk to birds? I well, I can't. I can't. Well, do vampires and werewolves really exist on this planet? Actually, don't answer mm -hmm. that. They, they might. Never mind. They're probably <laughs> listening to me now. They're very angry. Um. Yeah. Of course. Of course, you can put talking okay. to birds. Cool. I mean, when you say talking, though, it'll be less like in an actual language with words, and it'll be more just communicating mm -hmm. with them, kind of thing. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Callie, you dare? I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm disrespecting my senpai again. I'm sorry. Ow. Mm. <laughs> Chugs coffee furiously. I finished. <laughs> Nice, nice. Ah, no! Oh, it's all gone. Oh, no! Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> Coffee's all gone. It's probably fine. Angel boo. Wide awake. Wide awake now. <laughs> mm hmm. All right. Do you guys have any questions about your skills? Do you need a little more time? Just one more. Sure. Just need one more. I'll just be yeah, here vibing. You guys take more. your time. Mm. Mm. I'll look up something real quick. Up something real quick. Looking up something real quick. Okay, I'm done. Yay! Excellent. Okay. Okay, got it. Nice. Okay, are you guys all ready? Yes. A little more time, Kiara. One, 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 20 seconds. No Out worries. Doors, man. Okay, done. Okay, very good. Next up, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do the easy stuff. Let's fill in the easy stuff first. Um, so before mm -hmm. we go to merits, let's go to health. All right. So your health is going to be important in battle. Um, mm -hmm. So, and especially for sustaining damage, um, be sure to keep your eye on your health. So, health is going to be your stamina plus your size. So, everyone's size 
um, is is five, unless you are incredibly small or incredibly big. How big? Your size is five. Um, like like, t- <laughs> like towering, like absolutely giant. Above, Ooh. I'd say more than seven feet. Okay. Which is kind of dope, to be honest. <laughs> what? 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 Hmm? What did you say? Stamina yeah. plus, or what was it? Uh, stamina plus your size. Everyone's oh, okay. size is going to be five. Okay. Unless you are extremely small, then it's four. And uh, if you're extremely big, it's six. Okay, is there somewhere we write this? Or... Yes. So, on the sheet, look at where it says flaws, and then under the two lines, it says size. Oh, size, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. No problem. So, if I have free in stamina, and my size is five, then I have eight health? Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the same. Two, Chad is the same. Three, four, five. And one. one? Yeah. No, wait. Eight. Two, eight. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. We will get more into the health and damage system once you guys start uh, actually playing in the game. Uh-huh. Come on, come on, come on. Bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces. My heart health bar seems so low. <laughs> wait. Yeah. Uh, wait. What stamina? What? Where's stamina? Stamina is under your attributes. Where it says strength, dexterity, and stamina. How many dots do you have in stamina? Oh, jeez. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you're you're welcome. You got it. You're welcome. No worries. All right. Now, next, let's do your willpower. So your willpower is going to be your resolve plus your composure. Mm-hmm. Willpower is important mm-hmm. because you'll be able to add extra dice to your pool if you use one of your willpower dots. Mm -hmm. It's very helpful. So let's see, willpower resolve plus composure. Is it two, one? Oh no, Chad's only got three willpower. Well, oh well. I only have two. Well, who is that? Oh no. You can regain willpower, thankfully, but... Oh. There are various Seems ways. Like we'll I put the game. stats in the right places. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a good feeling? Are you feeling? maxed out, Kiara? I, no, I got I got eight health and five willpower. Oh, that's actually pretty oh, wow. good. Wow. Yeah, that sounds mm-hmm. very nice. All right. Now, next up, everyone's morality starts at seven. So you can just go ahead and put that right there. You really don't want it to fall down too far. <laughs> Oh, why not? Um, because if you hit one, you might just one day wake up and decide it's time to slay your teammates. Oh, that sounds fun, though. like anxiety points. <laughs> kind ah. of similar, but it's more like what you're willing to do. But if it's you slay your teammates, then do you win the game? Uh, no, I would say, I would say you definitely, <laughs> I mean, you maybe win the game, <laughs> uh, but the others most certainly do not. I win the game of life. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, yes, you you will win. You will probably. I mean, it depends on what what you mean by win. I suppose <laughs> Your definition of winning is. I didn't know Guda had such dark thoughts. <laughs> I can't mm. help it. It runs in my blood. <laughs> Genetic. I'm sorry. It's okay. It, it'll be fun to see that come to life in the campaign. So I anticipate it. Oh. All right, now let's see. Next, we got your speed. So your speed is going to be your strength plus dexterity plus five. Nice. Ten. Oh, oh wow. Speed. <laughs> uh, do oh, you count the base system. dots that you're given or only yes, the ones yes. that you added? Oh, shoot, mm-hmm. I did that wrong. Is that for oh. every every category? Yes, exactly. Everyone okay, gets then. one dot in everything free oh. for the attributes. Oh, because you I are a functioning that. human. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Take take your time. Take your time. All right. Let's see. Speed, strength plus dexterity plus five. So for Chad, it's three plus one plus five is nine. Chad's speed is nine. Oh. Hey, Bubba. Wow. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm surprisingly fast. <laughs> yeah. That, that will help you out in battle for sure. Then. Yay! Mm-hmm. Let's go to Mina. 
Oh, zoom, 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 zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Speed. Wait, what was speed again? Sorry. It's okay. Speed is strength plus dexterity plus five. It's right here. So for Chad, our friend Chad, it will be nine. Strength and plus how is, why is speed important? Um, you will see in game. It's important for battle, especially, and deciding um, how fast you're able to do things. Mm. Oh, it's like Pokemon. That yeah. Eat that. Mm -hmm. Attack first. <laughs> right, right. I'll be able to show you more how speed works when we get into like a battle. I think it'll be easier for for you guys to see there. So mm -hmm. anticipate that. Mm -hmm. Next up, we've got defense which is the lowest of dexterity or wits. So whatever is lower for you is what your defense is going to be. Mm. So for Chad, wits is three, but dexterity is one. So Chad's defense is one. Oh, okay. Oh. These are all things that have to do with like battle, I suppose. So once we get into an actual fight, I'll be able to explain a little easier for you guys in a, in a way that you can remember. We'll play it out. Mm -hmm. For now, armor, don't worry about that. Um, and let's see. Next, initiative mod. This is really important because when you roll dice for your initiative mod, it's going to determine the turn order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, your initiative mod is dexterity plus composure. Oh. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For Chad, oh no. <laughs> Chad's initiative mod is only two. Which means Chad will roll one d10 plus two. Oh, what so for Chad example, mean? Chad. So let's say that Chad rolling his one d10 gets an eight. Eight plus two is ten. So Chad's initiative mod is ten. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's ten. But let's say another player rolls a one d10, and they get. Um, a seven, but their initiative mod is five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they're twelve, so they go before Chad, because they have twelve uh. and Chad has ten. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Hopefully, uh, with the the place that we're going to use, hopefully we get the okay to use it. Um, we will have like a list of the turn order. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Quick maths. I, I was indeed counting on my fingers uh, as I as I added those. <laughs> yeah, up, I was by like, the way. I was like, oh no, my math math brain cells still still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was counting on my fingers. Pull out the calculator. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna ignore um we're gonna ignore armor for now, um and also weapon and equipment. You guys will get that in game, so we're gonna ignore that too. Okay. Um, okay. Now let's go on to merits. Yabby. <sighs> oh, merits. There are a lot of merits. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and link them again for you guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There was that huge list. Oh boy. Yes, indeed. Here you go. Um, okay, Chad, I'm, you guys, I'm, uh, being, I'm gonna be very quiet and, and read all of this now. Okay, no, I mean, reading <laughs> oh all of it's gonna be yeah. tough, but you can... <gasps> words. Yeah, yeah <laughs> a lot of words. Um, feel free to... To kind of go off and, and do your own thing in, in this case um, I'm gonna just be picking some for Chad here for like the chat but I think you guys might be able to get the gist just let me uh, explain first so um, when choosing your merits these will also add of course dice to your roll uh, if you have the the, the appropriate merit um, so or they just do certain things they can also be reflexive they don't always add dice to your roll um, uh -huh. They might just help you be able to even do something in the first place. For example, ambidextrous under physical merits. Character creation only. Ignore offhand penalties. So if you're using your, um, I guess, both of your hands are dominant. So you could be dual wielding weapons and you won't take a penalty to use a weapon in, for example, your non-dominant hand because you're ambidextrous. Yeah, but you're, you're gonna need to, it's gonna need to be three points. So for merits, how many points do you get? Let's find out. You get seven, seven points. Yes, that's right. Very good. Whoa. Wait, seven what, points. What, 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 what,
You get seven points for merits. So you see the list that I sent you? Uh-huh. Look where it says rating by each of the merits. So ambidextrous takes three dots. Okay, so I can add them up until I have seven points there. Exactly. Okay. However, but the prerequisites mean I need to have that in order to get that merit? Exactly. Oh, oh no. Yeah. So let's say, for example, you want to... Um, let's see. Let's say that you want to get... Um, here, let me see. Oh, what's the good idea? There's Iron a, stamina. A ground and pound. <laughs> ground and pound. Are you kidding? Wow. What at all? I remember the good old ground and pound. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Let's see. So, for example, the the, the physical merit relentless. It only mm -hmm. costs uh, one dot, and what it will do for you is it adds two to the successes needed against you in a chase. So, say for example, you're chasing someone down, and they're rolling to get away from you. They need two more successes than would normally be required. Oh. Because you have that relentless merit. However. In order to get that merit, you need to have two dots in athletics and three dots in stamina. I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so this is the big brain part. This is going to take <laughs> a little bit longer, even though it's less dots than the others. You might want to think a little harder about this one. I'm going to make Chad ambidextrous, though. Use they have a headbutt? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> or a shiv? Oh, my God. Yeah. Dexterous. And keep in mind, in the game, with your EXP, you'll be able to purchase more merits, more dots in your skills, more dots in your attributes. They all cost different amounts. We'll get to that later. Um, but you will be able to purchase some things. However, some things are character creation only. For example, giant, three dots, uh, plus one to size, but it's character creation only. Same with ambidextrous, character creation only. So you can't purchase those later. Mm. Okay, let's see. Um, what else we want for Chad? Um, <laughs> maybe Chad has some fame. Uh, nah, he's just this a shitty This is very fat boy. difficult. I don't know yeah, if I like can do this, this, this quickly. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. T take your time. Um, oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna give Chad striking looks. I'm gonna give him two dots because he's Chad. <laughs> So let's, let's see, striking looks. Um, for striking looks, thankfully, no prerequisites. Your appearance is noteworthy and memorable. Add striking looks to a die bonus to social roles that benefit from your appearance and to roles by other characters to notice or remember you. So um, question. Looks. Yes. Uh, so I gave myself the specialty and firearms gunslinger. Mm -hmm. And then here I see, though, that in Merits, there's also a Gunslinger Merit. Mm -hmm. I guess it does something else. It does a lot of things depending on how many dots I have. But does it make mm -hmm. sense to add a Gunslinger to the Merit as well? Sure, if you'd like. Yeah, that, that, there's no problem with that. Hmm. Ground and pound. Let's see, Gunslinger. Yeah, you have to have three wits, three firearms. I have four dots in specialty. firearms. Ah, uh, but do you have a, a firearms revolver specialty? I have a firearms gunslinger specialty. Oh, is... I see. Ah, uh, eh? But isn't that that that's it? That's that that that, that that's that though, huh? Wait, mm. firearms gunslinger. I mean, I think in this case I'd give it to you. To be honest, that's probably fine. Again, this is this is a this is more of like um. I'm not going to be a huge stickler for the rules in this case, so I'm fine with giving that to you. Okay, because it says Gunslinger is like in the pistols mm -mm -mm. category of firearms specialties. There's so much text. Yeah, it's okay. N no worries, no worries. We'll go ahead and we'll oh, go ahead and roll okay. with it. I mean, okay. if, if that's what you if that's what you want to spend your merits on, and also note that for Gunslinger merit, you can do one dot, three dots, or is that six? I think it's five. I'm just not looking correctly. They each have different abilities at different numbers of dots. Oh, ah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Let's see. Uh, for Chad. 
What else do I want? Shiv? No. <laughs> Why would Chad have a shiv? Goodness gracious. Why um, not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Let's see, these are fighting merits. Um, Chad's not much for fighting. Uh, oh god. Uh, it's okay, take your time. And and by the way, um, after this stream is over, if you want to look over your your character sheet again, that's fine. Um, I just need, oh. I'll need you to give them to me like within the week. I guess, mm -hmm. the finished versions. Mm -hmm. So if you just want it to be a rough draft and you want to edit it a little bit later, there's no problem with that. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so don't okay. don't worry do too that. much about it. No, no no pressure, no pressure. Okay. Let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What else do we want? Maybe Chad has some resources. Once per session, you can securely procure an item or service with it, with an availability that doesn't exceed your resources rating, including any reasonable number of items or services whose ability is, is exceeded by your resources by two dots. Naruhodone. So basically, I got some. I got resources for days. Okay, cool. We'll use we'll use Daddy's resources. Here we go. We'll use we'll use da we'll use Daddy Jerry's resources. We're only gonna put one though because you know d Daddy's not gonna give you all the resources. Uh, son? <laughs> son? <laughs> now, son, you get one resource dot. That's all. Okay, daddy! <laughs> Let's see... Um... <laughs> What's a crack driver? Oh gosh, let me see what this is. When not taking any... When not taking any non-driving actions, add your composure as a bonus to drive rolls. Oh man, and... Penalize attempts to disable your vehicle by your composure. With three dots, you can take a reflexive drive action per turn. Reflexive meaning you, you do it like automatically. So let's see. So like driving finesse? Yes, exactly. <gasps> oh. Super skill behind the mm -hmm. wheel. Indeed. Nice. Yeah. Let's see. Area of expertise. Raise one specialty die bonus to plus two. Oh, that's kind of dope. Let's see. So specialties give you plus one, right? If you have area of expertise, um, then in that specialty you can make it plus two. Eh, so wait, 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 wait. So I have four dots and firearms, but mm -hmm. since I have a specialty in there as well, I have actually five. Yeah, it'll it'll make it a plus two F1? if you have area of expertise two. in that specialty. Yes. So I have because specialties, six yeah, in are normally arms. plus one, but with area of expertise, you get plus two. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear the first part. The f plus one is what? So usually all specialties um, are plus one to your dice uh -huh. pool. So for example, Chad's athletics running away. The running away specialty is only plus one to his roll. But if you have the merit of area of expertise, it changes that to plus two. Ah. Hmm. Ah. So I'm gonna do that for him, actually. Area of expertise. It only costs one dot. Oh, mm -hmm. but it needs a resolve. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's a good point, yeah. Thankfully, it's a pretty low requisite. So, area of expertise, running away. That's his specialty, his big specialty. I'm excited to start playing. <laughs> Are you gonna start drifting, Gura? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I hope maybe. All right, Wait. Let's yeah. see. I am! I have some stuff in drive! Haha! <laughs> I'm gonna be Drift Master. <laughs> well, because wait, under the, the the special skills for physical and drive, it says that flying could be one of the special skills. Oh, that's so kind of dope, actually. You don't have to drive a car necessarily. You could just fly. Eh? Indeed. Wait, ah, wait. Oh, wait, wait, but does does it have to be your special skill, or can drive automatically mean flying? Does that make sense? Ah. Oh. Say that one more time. I'm sorry. I was completely... <laughs> no, it's okay. One more time? Yeah. So, Drive has a special skill on the mm -hmm. list that you sent. Also yes. called flying, right? Mm -hmm. 
Does it have to be your special skill, or can drive also just automatically mean flying? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, if you are rolling to like fly a plane or something like that, then I would have you roll drive. And okay. probably dexterity as well. And if ah. it was a plane, you'd be able to use that flying specialty to add one dice to your roll. Okay, and my next question is, does it have to be like a... a, a... A physical object, or can you just fly? Like, I just want to fly, so you... Oh, like, up like spread air. out your wings? <laughs> that kind of thing, yeah. Oh. You need a, a vehicle. Uh, I would say, yes. I would say you, you, need, you need something to fly on. It can be a hoverboard if someone is able to make one for you. But, yeah. Uh, you, you, can, you unfortunately can't just spread your wings uh, and fly. <laughs> what if I what if I created my own device to fly? Sure. If you had like yeah, if you created a flying device, like for example, one of those things where you jump off the cliff, a hand glider. You jump off the cliff and you're holding on to. I mean, if you made a device, yeah, but you'd need to make it in in game, and it might take oh, okay. some time. But yeah, sure, of course. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, doesn't need well, to be can, a plane. I can make it for you, girl. Jetpack, yeah. Uh, I have high high craft. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I nice. I don't fly that well though, because I'm I'm technically a mad scientist. <laughs> yeah, it might blow up. Yeah, we'll <laughs> be careful about that. There's a risk. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. All right, I now. Mm. Yay, yatta! Now we're gonna go on to. I think this is. Is this the last part of the sheet? Um, it might be. So the last part of this sheet that we're going to be working on are your flaws. Flaws are nice. fun, um, because oh, oh, oh. you get more points to use in your merits if you have flaws. To make your character more well-rounded, here is the list you guys can use. Um, if you guys in chat would like to look at this list, um, basically any of these lists, you go on to your, your search engine of choice, and you type in World of Darkness Flaws, and you can access the list. Why a child mm. listed as a flaw? <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I did actually, I did actually get um, PDFs for all of you girls. I did, I did, I went through this <laughs> as I purchased them. <laughs> I actually purchased them. So you guys have those at your disposal as well. Uh, if you would like to use those as, as um, a reference point. But this is just so chat has a little reference point as well. Mm. Um, so let's see. Um, for example, addiction can be one to three points. Oh man. So basically what flaws are is if your character has a flaw, you're going to take penalties to your dice pool if your flaw gets in the way of your roll. Okay. So mm. for example, amnesia, if you're rolling to remember something rather, no, that would have to be for something specific though. Um, let's see. Bad liar. Let's go with that. If you're a bad liar, you're going to take a penalty to your to your role to try and lie but because you have that flaw and it says here bad liar one point you get one uh free point to use in your merit so instead of seven you get eight uh, by the way it doesn't matter how many points all of these are um uh we just need two flaws right um yeah i would say let's just cap it at two to keep it easy yeah okay mm -hmm. okay I'm still looking for one merit. <laughs> That's okay. You take your time. You take your time. If you guys want to go ahead and look through the flaws, these will also help you make a nice, well-rounded character. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, Watson, are you going to put short as one of your flaws? Gosh. <laughs> what? Isn't what the door? It's a matter of personal oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm saying, because isn't what the door short? Um... Like normal size, maybe a little hunched over, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. I put a deranged and dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> wait, uh, is there like a wait? I uh, how many points? How many flaws do we have? Just two. Uh, yes. Just just for now. I I feel like okay. let's just cap it at two. Mm hmm. All right. Here's here's two one points, that I really right? like. Yeah, two points. Oh yeah, uh, two no two flaws. Oh, two flaws. Okay. Yeah. The the points um. Will I, I'd love for you to write them on the sheet, um, uh -huh. but you can see on the the list that I sent you um, how many points. Oh, so let's okay. see. I love this one. Um, let's see. 
Hold on a sec. Incompetent. You are spectacularly bad. You are spectacularly bad at something. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh -huh. you're the only person around who doesn't understand this fact. <laughs> so, you, you pick a single ability. You believe you have the proficiency equal to three dots in that trait, when in reality you almost always ruin any effort involving it. Whenever you try to use the ability, treat the outcome as if you rolled a botch. So you will always fail mm. at it. No matter what. But hey, three points mm. to put into merits, so. Mm. Isn't it three Thanks. points? With merits, you can only pick... Can you pick, like, seven and put one in each, or if, sure. if it was, like, applicable? Um, I mean, if you picked seven merits that all cost one dot, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Let's see. Only drink character creation. Twelve point value, which adds to the amount of freebie points the player can spend during creation process. Um, but you can only get seven freebie points from taking flaws, you guys. So if you mm. add up all of your flaws and it comes up to ten, th that's a no-no. <laughs> you gotta stop at seven. Oh, yeah. uh, Callie, I see a lot of mentions of vampires in this list. I thought we were doing the hunting. Yeah, yeah, you can't... You, unfortunately, you, can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't do those. Wait, your flaws, the points have to add up to something? Or, or it's just it just has to be under ten? Um, so basically the, the points that, that you get to use in your merits from having flaws, it can't go past seven. So let's see, for now, um, I guess just, I feel like the best way to go about it is to pick flaws that just go with your character, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll work out the details a little bit later. That should be okay for now. All right. Um, what is wrong with Chad? Chad is probably incompetent. Um, let's see. Incompetent. Okay, let me spell Wait, this Chad right. Or? Chad. <laughs> I said Chad. Chad. Oh, well, I guess you're incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, ah. Uh. A girl with the sick roasts. Uh, no, I didn't say it. I thought you said it. Incompetent. And Chad is incompetent at... Let's see. Chad thinks that he is just absolutely the best when it comes to matters of the occult. So I feel like there's a, a, a perfect um, flaw for all of us. It's called yeah. incomplete understanding. <laughs> the whole matter has been explained to you, but you're still not quite sure how things in your sect work. Your imperfect understanding of the rules and regulations of your new existence means that sooner or later you are going to make a mistake. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, we're breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we'll all learn... Um, like the perfect way to not really per it'll never be perfect but we'll we'll all we'll get through this together <laughs> let's see another thing about incompetence is with chad's incompetence in the occult um in order to get the bonus to my merit points um from that like the f if, if i really want to get those freebie points i need to role play it that way so every time a situation comes up where the occult needs to be investigated chad needs to jump into it chad needs mm. to be like Oh man, I'm a I'm an expert at this and and forces himself into the into the situation to do that mm -hmm. role. And it'll fail. Um but that's how you get the freebie points. You got to make a sacrifice. Um the flaws need to actually um like get in your way. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if Chad had low alcohol tolerance? Let's see. I'm giving myself a, a speech impediment something. Okay. Okay, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> like like pickle, but because oh, I'm Tiara, it's it's Ada. <laughs> oh, I see. So I when see. I'm when I'm playing my character, I always have to uh, add Ada at the end of my sentences. Oh, and goodness. this um the difficulties uh of all die rolls involving verbal communication are increased by two. 
Oh. Uh, yeah, that, that fits the description that I had with having a few communication problems. <laughs> ada, ada. <laughs> oh gosh, here they go. Here they go. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's go ahead and give Chad... I want to give Chad some nightmares. All right. Uh, which is one point. In, uh, incompetence and occult is three points. Um, so f with nightmares, you experience horrendous nightmares every time you sleep, and memories of them haunt you during your waking hours. Upon awaking, you must make a willpower roll. Difficulty seven, or lose a die in all actions for that night. So that that can be difficult for night actions, um, and a botched willpower roll, which means you fail the shit. Um, even when awake, you still believe you are locked in a nightmare. Oh, oh that's, sick. that's scary. All right, yee. All right, so let's see. I that I guess I have four extra points then. Nice. Uh, but I'm not gonna use those right now. I'm gonna save them. It's just so that we can, I guess, move along. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. put too much stock in giving merits to Chad when we're probably not gonna use them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so those are flaws. Um, and with that... There we go. This is Chad. A fresh hunter, no weapons, no equipment. But you know... His heart's in the right place. He'll do his best. We can add weapons and equipment. Yeah, yeah. Throughout the game, um, you'll be able to purchase them. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. You guys will get money, by the way, for your jobs. Money. Mm -hmm. money. Ma money. Usually you'll get paid. You can use that money to get equipment and weapons. Question about the profession, like at the top. Uh, did I have to pick one from the drop-down menu, or could I just put something, you know, like, whatever I want? Oh, yeah, you can do whatever you want. For chat, I put no. So, I mean, you can <laughs> just, whatever you, whatever you feel like. Okay. Is there any, any flaw that would mm, be fitting for a scatterbrain, like someone who loses stuff all the time? Let's see. I can't um, really find anything. Let's mm -hmm. see. I think there should be... There should be something like that. Let me see. I just realized there's a drop-down menu. I've been drawing everything in by hand. Oh, so that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. I apologize for my hand. No <laughs> worries. No worries. It's all good. Um. Oh, that is really useful. I didn't realize I was doing. Yeah, I was just doing mine in paint. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe abs no, absent-minded, you forget things such as names, addresses, the last time you gained glam- Ah, oh, that's like- mm, I still think that could apply to anyone, mm -hmm. not just vampires. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe absent-minded would be good. Um, let's see, in order to remember anything more than your own name and location of your- I mean, I would say cell in this case. You need to make a wits roll or as last resort spend a willpower point. This flaw may not be taken with the merit concentration, so you can't cheat it like that. Um, let's see. That could be good. Um, uh, our, our max... What did you say that our max bonus merit points we can get from flaws was? We maxed out at uh, let's seven see. or ten? I believe it's seven. Uh, yeah, the seven okay. possible freebie points earned through taking flaws uh, can give a character a total of up to 22. For oh, wow, that's a lot. Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> points earned through taking flaws. I'm supposed to add points from the flaws into the merits? Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. To any? Yeah, I mean, or you can just go buy a new merit if you'd like from the merits sheet. Oh, I see. Mm hmm. What? 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 I missed that. So basically, I... flaws give you freebie points, right? That you can use. Um, uh -huh. Ah! That's why I would want to maybe choose like a, like a bigger flaw so I can get more points for merits. Yes, exactly. But it will it will hurt oh. you in the game. High risk, ah. high reward. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe I get rid of the speech impediment. <laughs> I don't know. I can't decide. There's a lot to decide, which is why it's okay that that we don't completely figure it out. But a rough draft would be great. Mm -hmm. Mm 
I want to go to the next one. Hmm. Oh gosh. They <laughs> want it. However you want to play it. Let's see. So basically, this sheet is done for Chad. So I'm gonna make it go away. Oh, I still haven't named my character! Oh! That's okay. That that can be one of the last things that you come up with if you would like. Uh -huh. I finished. Yep, da! Do I, should I post it? So. Yeah, sure. I mean, so if you can save the image and then send it to me, that would be awesome. I'll just put it in the, you know, in that place. Okie dokie. Okay, so... Wait, there's a page two, though! Yes, exactly. And this is something we don't have to all do today. Um, because this is stuff that doesn't require, like, technical explanation from me. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but it would, it would be nice to kind of, like, figure it out, I guess. Um, also you can choose to just leave some areas blank if you would like. Up to you. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Still trying to find one more merit that costs me two points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a question about the uh, the merit a roadkill. <laughs> okay, let me go. Let me go look for that. Roadkill. Uh huh. It says requirement is aggressive driving, but is that a specialty or? Ah, uh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> okay. Yep. Say no more. <laughs> ah, man, this is this is gonna be fun. Yes, it will be fun. Aggressive driving, two dots. He. Oh gosh. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Aggressive driving. What book is this from? Well, just for the sake of simplicity, yeah. Let's make it a specialty. Okay. <laughs> yep. Let's just go with that. Ah, there is so, so much in this game. I, I, I love that I'm like, oh yeah, this is the, this is one of the, this is one of the easier ones to ease into, but there is so much stuff. <laughs> there is a lot. I'm sure we'll get used to it. But yeah. A lot mm -hmm. to just suggest for now. <sighs> Even for your boy, I'm like, man, I can't remember all this, so I need all the sheets up. There are a lot uh, of things. All right, I think I'm ready. Okay. <sighs> Excellent. Um, this part is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to write description, Chad. History, he's Chad. <laughs> He's uh, all of this hot. All right, save the skin. And things like um, endowments, we're not going to worry about right now. Equipment, uh, combat, etc., we may use later. Endowments, just not really thinking about those. Tactics will be important for your group later on, but not going to worry about that right now. We're not going to touch tells right now. The main thing that we want to do is history, description, um, and just have that be it for the second page. Hmm. We may edit it later, though, as we get deeper into the game. <laughs> so I guess I guess Chad's sheet is done. Oh, one more. Mm. Oh, wow. That's okay. Take your time. Take your time. If mm -hmm. anyone is ready, I'll go ahead and show their sheets on the stream. But we have to do the description and stuff too, right? Like the... Um, yeah, that would be nice, if, if you're able to. But it's also something that you can do off stream, so just like a rough idea is fine. Okay. Just so we can show everyone a general idea of what your character is like. Hmm. Hey, I'm gonna break my neck real quick. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. One more time. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta break your neck, man. I tell you what. I can't decide. Oh my god. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> there is a lot to decide for sure. It is getting hot in here. 
I'm not finished, but uh, should I send it? Like, I haven't really firmly decided if my merits are flaws, but... Okay, I mean, as, as long Most as it's a rough... Most Yeah, yeah, you can send me just what you have. Um, yeah. And we'll share the rough... I just haven't done the, the bonus merits. That's what I haven't really assigned yeah, yet. Yeah, that's okay. I haven't for Chad either, so it's it's all good. Okay. Yeah. No problem. I think while you guys are finishing up, um, I'm gonna go wash my hands because it's starting to get hot in here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yee. All right, so I'll be back in just a moment, but you guys feel free to continue talking. I'll just be under the table. There I go. <laughs> oh, we're talking. There she goes. There I go. <laughs> we are talking. Mm. Well, my marriage is multilingual, but I don't know what languages to choose. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Mm. You can make up like a gibberish language that only bad scientists use. <laughs> Pig Latin. Wait, can I talk to animals? Except yeah. it's only a one way, one way conversation. <laughs> talk to funguses and what scientific guys... samples. Mm. What are you putting as like your, your age in the description? I don't know what to put. I thought those age. I don't know. 400. 400? Yeah. But I'm a human. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait, this conversation sounds familiar. <laughs> Are they old and bitter? Old, bitter, jaded, sad. No, I thought, I thought I was always happy. Ah. 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 Oh, oh. <laughs> what if the final boss is Watoto? Ah, yeah, Watoto! <gasps> okay, okay, I'm done. I'm They're done. hunched over though. Watoto, you're easy. Easy, Watoto. No, you don't know. Yeah? <laughs> Watoto did nothing you wrong. From experience? Ha 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 ha! Hmm. I'm Guna. still unknown for age. Good you want name? some chicken? Some chicken. Hmm. Sure. Okay. There you go. Ah, wait, one. This one. Yeah. Let's take some chicken. Yeah. Mom, 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 Thank you. <laughs> you want to? Wait, wait, wait. Hey. Wait, I'll come over to you. Ah, <laughs> 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 yummy, yummy, fresh, oh, fresh chicken from. Uh, sorry, not chicken, <laughs> toddling, not chicken. <laughs> fresh? How long have they been in your hands for? Are you sure it's fresh? <laughs> hey, no, I, I, those are fresh. I, I actually I, I didn't have them <laughs> in my hands for a while now. Eight months. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I just ordered some fresh ones. Also, who wants to fight? Hmm? Hmm? Fight me! Wait, hold on. <laughs> you got your ten... I'll show you guys a magic up? trick. <laughs> oh. You see, Ame? Hey! <laughs> 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 I, you I see can't breathe this suffocating me! <laughs> you see I Ina, don't. now you don't see Ina. <laughs> Yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice tentacles. <laughs> Wait, we, we, yeah, we have tentacles. Look at that. How does that look? Hmm. <laughs> Things that could have been, but Ooh, are, like, are not. They're like orange <laughs> with like blue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Phoenix tentacles. That sounds like something that would pop up in the middle of our session. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yo yo Let me put down my weapons. I don't want to hit good on her head. She already got hit too often with other They don't bonk me again. It's okay. I'm used to it. Ah, nom nom nom. I wonder what kind of adventures await us. 
Are we like we're in the same compact, right? Do we work together as a team? We're or are we no, are we no, against no, no. each other? I think at the moment we don't know each other yet, but we oh. Callie will help us find uh, our way together and then then we act as a group. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. To catch them all, catch all the monsters, huh? Kelly. Oh. Mm. She returns. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> yeah, <you>. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Kelly is back. I needed to tell a friend. She's back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They say you're muted, you. Kelly. I hear you, but they say you muted. Are you muted in OBS? Oh, I was muted in OBS. There we go. Sorry, let me do, let me say everything for everyone. Guess who's back? Back again. Callie's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? We can't continue. That makes sense that I said something to Gouda. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see. Thank you. And then we've got Ina's as well. Thank you very much. Uh, it, the first page only for now is fine, right? I only have yes. the first page in Photoshop right now for some yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. First page is is fine. As long as we can show everybody what's up. Okay. All right. Now let's see. I'm going to go ahead and hide this real quick. As I open up. Uh, let's see. Let's start uh -huh. with uh, Gura. Gura. Well, I'm, definitely, I'm <laughs> definitely needing to go back and uh, fix this a bit. No worries. <laughs> and finish it. You can absolutely do that. Mm. You yeah. can absolutely do that. I think this is it. Let's see, Mystery Dark Lady. Okay. Sounds good. Go ahead and expand. Okay. All right, here's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Humma, humma. Let's see. All right, this is not an example. This Drum is... roll. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Mystery Dark Lady, I like it. <laughs> All right, we'll get that name a little bit later. So let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, with Breakers, Virtuous Hope, Vice's Wrath, very nice. And Courier, okay, I like it. Let's see what we got for attributes. I think I did my math wrong here accidentally. Or I was like moving <laughs> stuff around and I made a whoopsie. Oh, that's okay. All you have to do is take away one of the red dots that you have in either the Intelligence Wits Resolve or the Dexterity Stamina Strength one. Ah, the, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. That's okay, that's that's the only thing you gotta do. Um, but otherwise, looking good, and then Manipulation. Okay, so with Manipulation, uh, Presence Composure Box, you actually oh. get one more, uh, because each of these should already be filled in. So like Presence, you automatically get a dot. Manipulation, you automatically get a dot. You automatically get all the first dots in each one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you still have a little more to spend, thankfully. Okay. No problem. And then let's see what we got here for skills. Craft? It's like a pizza correcting homework. <laughs> no, no, it's it's fine. It's it's chill. It's it's okay. It's just a rough. It's well, just you a know, rough. really, really ada ada type of sweet teacher that we're all secretly in love with, but we we know that we can never get with because she's too old for all of us. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Let's see. Mental. You got the four dots in mental. Great. Crafts. Paper. Looking good. A little in medicine. A little in science. Then for physical, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Uh, yeah. Stealth. Shadow. Okay. So you can stay in the shadows. Mm. Yeah. Kind of thing. I see. Very nice. And then let's see. Um, for social. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Very good. Persuasion, nice. social, social Maneuvers. maneuver. Okay, okay, <laughs> I, I, I got that. I got that. Okay. okay, sure. Um, yeah, I think I think I'll let you have that one for the specialty. It could be a little broad, but uh, we'll we'll Is see. Off the list. Do I have yeah. to like, click on it? On oh, the it list? was. No, no, no. It's fine. If you got it off the list, then it's no problem. Um, Agility or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, social maneuvers. Oh, okay, I see. So, like, 
using, I guess, speech tactics or social oh. tactics in yeah. situations. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, yeah, that is perfectly good. All right, let's see. And then, wow, persuasion is really high. Nice. Uh, some intimidation, socialize one, subterfuge three. Very good. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now, let's good see. job, Gwena. Very good. All right, so some of the merits you've mm -hmm. got: fighting finesse. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. Fast reflexes. Okay. Nice. V vest vestige. Yes, vestige. Vesti vestige. Okay, I, good. Vestige. I don't know. Here. Okay, good. Awesome. And then spin, spin dog. Spin doctor? <laughs> this is, yeah. Spin doctor. I don't There's, know. I really no, need it's okay. to move them around. There are so <laughs> many. There are so many freaking merits. Hold on. That's true. <laughs> I've only memorized like the ones that I used a lot in games. Let's see. You all right? Vestige. You possess vessels for the for the world's life force, which can be called upon for cursed strength. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dun 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 dun. dun. Can, can we use that in Hunter, I wonder? Oh. Is this from Mage? Oh man, I should've... <laughs> I'm a dummy! Yeah. I don't think we can... <laughs> I don't know if we can use that. Ah! Okay. Dang it's okay. it. F. Mm, is it so specific? The world's life force. I kind of want you to, though. <laughs> I'm okay with changing it around. We can decide uh, mm. later on. Yeah, I kind of I kind of want you to. <laughs> Well, okay, let's let's put a pin in that, cause that might be cool. I don't know. You know, we we play we play this our way. <laughs> we play this our way. It's definitely Hunter, but I'm cool with breaking some rules for the sake of coolness. Yeah, it would be lame. For style otherwise. points. Yeah, for style points. And let's see, Being tainted clues inflict an additional minus one penalty instead of consuming any successes. Nice. Okay, very good. You need high manipulation and subterfuge for that. I think that you've got it. Subterfuge three, manipulation. Whoa, yeah, manipulation very high. Okay, good. So you're looking good, girl. And then we've got nice. flaws, short temper, amnesia, perhaps blind. Okie dokie. Looks good to me. Hmm. Cool. All right, so we're looking good. Fudge, 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 girl. Yeah. Big claps all around the table. Looking great. Thank you. Yeah, we'll we'll work on it um, a little bit later to like I guess uh, buff out the edges, but it's looking great. This is a fantastic start. Nice. Yatta. All right. Yeah. Very well done. Next up, we're gonna go and hit up Ina's sheet. Ah. Oh. All right. Let's see. Mad Ina. scientist Ina. <laughs> <laughs> With the jello banana. Yes. <laughs> and the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepe. Let's see. Here it is. Ina one. Let me copy this on over. Doctor what? Doctor Oops. The doc Ooh. Doctor Oopsie. Do doctor that's what I meant to say. <laughs> the Doctor Oopsie. <laughs> Alright, here. Here is Ina's sheet. Alright. So we got the, the homie you will be alright. <laughs> Got me there. You got me there. Come on. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> you, you got me there. Enough. Try hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh wow. All right. <laughs> no, never, never be sorry. It's beautiful. <laughs> what a beautiful soul. Ninamai Inunis, Virtue Temperance, Vice is Sloth, very nice. Concept mm. is Tired, Grad Student, Slash Inventor, Profession, Mad Scientist, Student. Let's take a look at these here attributes. Let's see, Intelligence, Wits, Resolve. Okay, so for uh, Intelligence, we've got three points. Wits, three points. Resolve, two points. Mm. Strength, two. Dexterity, three. Not exactly the, the strong block, but... Looking good. <laughs> and then let's see. Yeah, number number one looks like it's gonna be smarts for you, huh? Mm -hmm. Um and then let's see, presence, manipulation, composure. Looking good. All right. Now next we go into skills. All right, what do we got here? Mantle eleven. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, strong, strong craft skills. <laughs> craft your sense. Very good. Computer, mm -hmm. academics, investigation, medicine, first aid. This will be helpful. You all will be very thankful for this. 
the future. <laughs> Excellent. And well, accidents in the lab. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Looking good. Next, we've got physical. Um, drive, aggressive drive. <laughs> Three dots. Hey, we gotta get the places. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Survival one, rep weaponry two. Looks good. Mm. All right. I love the idea of your character be <laughs> being like a jumping into the front seat <laughs> for many of your adventures. I can see it happening. High speed chases. I anticipate mm -hmm. them. And let's see. Social four, one for animal can, expression, persuasion, and subterfuge. Okay. Mm. Seems good to me. See, for your merits, resources, <laughs> area of expertise, crafting, encyclopedic knowledge, automotive genius, multilingual, and roadkill. Very good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> for multilingual, what is what is your other language? Uh, I haven't decided yet. I'll okay, thank you. No problem. You take your time. <laughs> and, ro and roadkill. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> see. Ignorant one point insomniac two it was very good. Mm -hmm. Looking great. Ina's character, Yule. Be all right. <laughs> you can't. Call me Yule. <laughs> you, uh, okay, you got it. You got it. No problem, Yule. You'll wow. get used to it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> How do you do it? How do you do it? I just... Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, that that in itself is a special skill. Where is where is the puns made? Where is I think the there was actually one where it's like you told the wrong jokes at the wrong time. Oh god! I'm just like hmm, hmm. So something to ponder yeah. in the future. Oh my gosh! All right, let's see. It's looking very good, Ina. Heck yeah. yeah! Next up, let's go ahead and get to Kiara. Okay. C -C -C. With Kiara. Okay. Let's see, let me save this real quick. And let me pull this up. Okie dokie. Let me open this bad boy. Do, 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 do. Ah, found it. Tiara <laughs> sheet. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. This oh, yeah. is Tiara, player Kiara. Tiara with the boobs and the guns. Yeah, I love it. I l it's a very good mental image. <laughs> Virtue, prudence, vice, you, you, I think you still need to change the the top. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is not this is not Yule. <laughs> Be all right. <laughs> hold on a sec. Uh, hold on, Kiara. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay, Kiara character sheet. Virtue is prudence. Vice is pride. Concept: falconer. Professional: profession: falconer. <laughs> Let's see. And looks Ooh. like you've got the big boy points in strength, dexterity, stamina. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Intelligence three, wits one, resolve three, strength three, dexterity two, stamina three, presence three, manipulation one, composure two. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looking good. Then for mm -hmm. mental, we've got four. Okay. Academics and then three in crafts. Uh, physical. Okay. F physical is, is the big boy trait here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm strong. I will protect Strong. my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dope firearms. <laughs> <laughs> Be the shield. Let's see. Athletics, two. Firearms, four. With gunslinger. Survival outdoorsman with two. And weaponry, three dots. Very nice. And let's see. Social burb communication. Yes. That's a big one. Very good. Mm -hmm. And empathy, three. Okie dokie. Wow, that is real high. But could be very useful. I, I hope so. Mm. I think so. As long as you, as long as you find a way to role play it, right? Then I think you'll be able to make very good use out of that. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's see. Merit subduing strikes, loaded for bear, human prey, multilingual, iron stamina, quick draw, danger sense. Looks pretty well rounded to me. Very suitable to my character. Perfect. I hope. Yeah, I think so. With, with the flaws, I wouldn't mind adding more to it because those are such small flaws, but I need mm. to read more through the, the bigger flaws. Sure, sure. Take your time. Mm. Take your time. Mm. All right. New arrival and speech impediment. Okay. Looks good to me. Hatha. Yay! And health, willpower. Yay! All right. Very good. Hatha. Tiara. Budge, budge, budge. Thank you. We we forgot a punch 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 for Ina. Hold on, punch 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 for Ina too. Yeah, punch punch punch. 
Clap, 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 Oh my gosh. All right. Like clap, so around. Is it what like like time? Like All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm very excited. Time for the what to Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> my stomach already hurts. I got a second. Uh, okay, let's get Wasato popping off here. Is um what is the name what <laughs> Is the name Watoto supposed to sound kind of similar to Watson, by any chance? Uh, well, like, a little. It's like Potato and Watson. Oh, I see. <laughs> what? Gotcha. Watoto. Watoto. All right. Here's the whole Watoto. Uh, hang on. Let me change this real quick. Watoto, you say? Watoto. All right. What the? Why do you say it like a dad? With Toto, dude. <laughs> Toto, dude. Dude, with Toto. <laughs> Toto. Toto. All right. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Why would I say Amelia character sheet? I'm sorry. I got so excited. I thought you were with Toto for a minute. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the homie with. I love how it's like typed out, but then you just wrote over it. And <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Looking very good. Watoto, Amelia Mythbreakers. Faith, greed, investigative, goblin like. I can envision this character already. <laughs> Profession, herbs. Very legitimate. I grow herbs. Yeah, he, he, grows, he grows herbs. Okay? Oh. Yeah. Very, very helpful. You guys may think now, hey, listen, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but it seems normal to me. Okay, now let's yeah, go to. Yeah, like herbs and uh, rosemary and thyme. Yeah, like yeah, and yeah, potions yeah, yeah. or alchemy or something, you know? Yeah. yeah. Stuff together. Yeah, nice. Very, it'll be very helpful. Very helpful. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Intelligence. Um, so that's going to be the lowest, I guess. Intelligence is one. Wits, three. Resolve, one. Let's see. I think you can add one more dot in there, actually. Okay, yeah, I got confused because yeah. I didn't know I could have one in each one, so I think I yeah. messed it up. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. I forgot that some of you guys were using the editable sheet, um, which didn't have them all already marked in there. So, yeah, you guys definitely can. Um, and then next we got strength, dexterity, and stamina, and then presence, composure, manipulation. Looks good. Looks good. We got some, we got some manipulative ones here. I don't I like trust Watoto. Why not? Why not? Watoto, Watoto, Watoto's got, Watoto. All <laughs> got all you need. Got all you need when it comes to herbs. Watoto, 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 Watoto. Same thing. Da dun dun dun. <laughs> um, let's see, mental, okay, looking good, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, okay, wow, pretty high. Um, let's see, crafts, alchemy, okay, okay, it's a little in computer, investigation, medicine, occult, politics, this will be useful so you don't have to take those really heavy minus three unskilled penalties, nice. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then we've got for physical, two in brawl, larceny, pickpocket, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, oh no. I <laughs> oh, man. I'll steal your equipment. <laughs> oh no! You guys gotta watch out for Watoto's slippery fingers. Oh, man. Let's see. Survival luck. Oh gosh. Alright, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Add a little bit of luck into your dice pool. I can, I can respect it. And then let's see. Social, a little intimidation. I love to imagine what very, Toto intimidates. Very intimidating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't be fooled by that small goblin-like appearance. It actually, uh, plays I'm just strength. thinking about Wolf. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> oh man. And then we've got Streetwise 1 and Subterfuge 1. Okay. Good stuff. And then let's see. For Merits, Investigative Prodigy. Fast reflexes, hardy, ground pound, holistic <laughs> awareness. You gotta have the ground. <laughs> Nothing be. It was meant to be. 
Well, I guess technically it's called ground and pound. It's not just ground pound, but that's yeah. the official in the list. And it's optional. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I like it better this way. <laughs> Let's roll with it. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. Okay, so here we go. I guess... I guess that's it. I guess we got through all your characters. Nice. Yay! Yay! Wow. Very good. I mean, it's a little bit of a special one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You know, I feel I like you guys all though. specialize in different in different like uh, areas, and then mm -hmm. you know, Watoto's just a little all around. You know, kind of a wild card. You know. Yeah. 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 I can imagine yeah. that. I can see mm -hmm. that happen. I like it. I like it. All right. So let's see. Um, hold on. I wonder if we should do this today. Um, I wanted to do like a little test RP, but I'm starting to think we really should wait to get the okay for this rolling dice. But I think that you guys understand how the the dice add up. Um, so for example, let's say let's say um, for example, uh, Yul wants to roll. Um, to, let's see, craft something, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Let's say that Yule wants to roll to craft something in the moment. It's kind of like mm -hmm. a spur of the moment thing. So yeah. you would use um, your wits plus your crafts and then add mm -hmm. your crafter sense specialty. So you have three wits, four, craft, uh, four for crafts, mm -hmm. and then one for crafter sense. So that's four plus three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dice total. Ah. Yeah, your dice pool is gonna be eight. And then you'll roll those dice. Um, and basically the way that it works is you wanna get successes. Uh -huh. um, a success on your dice is either an eight, a nine, or a 10. Oh. And tens, you re-roll. Okay. So you can get more successes. Uh -huh. And basically the amount of successes that you get will pretty much determine how the action is carried out, mm. whether you succeed or not. Um, so you want to basically increase your chance of getting successes ah. by having a heightened dice pool. I see, I see. I see. Yeah. And each of you guys will make your first rolls um, in your either tutorial session or for some of you who are, who are pretty busy, we can just do a lore video, which will be like a shortened version that won't be live streamed and we'll just do it together and then I'll edit it a little bit and you can post it on your channel. Mm. <laughs> yep. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, good. That's, yeah. that's basically it. And then yeah, there's another thing I wanted, to, I wanted to show you guys that's kind of cool. Um, typically when your characters go somewhere, um, this can happen. <gasps> mm -hmm. Now we're in. Now, now check this out. We've gone Whoa. to the scene. <laughs> yeah, and the actual art inside the scene box will be like more. I guess a more um, like detailed area of. I guess the scene. So within the city, maybe it'll be a picture of a bar or something like wow. that. Cool. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for preparing so much. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. No problem, guys. There's still so much work to do, and I still gotta brush up on the rules and stuff. But you guys, you guys have been amazing so far with creating your characters, and I can't wait to see um, how the story unfolds with your with your ragtag crew of hunters. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah. Ooh. So the last yeah. thing, the last thing we gotta do, you guys, is oh. we have to decide on hashtags so that. Um, oh yes. Yeah. So that you guys in the audience can also have uh, some fun with us along the ride. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So the main hashtags, um, I'm just gonna do a keyboard slam real quick. The main hashtags that we're going to try and uh, choose, I guess, are I wanted to do one for, let's see. Well, overall, for the overall uh, game, it's going to be hashtag hunter myth. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. And then, we need to come up with one for fan art. Mm. And then, this one's going to be fun. You guys are gonna like this. We wanna use BGM that you guys create. <gasps> oh. Yeah. So, if you create BGM, you can use the hashtag that we come up with and maybe we'll play it uh, during the campaign. Um, with credit to you, of course, in the description, we'll put the link to the music that we use. Um, as long as you guys are, are cool, uh, with us using your music for that purpose needs to be under that understanding that you know we're going to use it in our campaign. 
um, mm. then feel free to use that hashtag. Uh, and yeah, after that, mm -hmm. uh, I thought we'd also have a hashtag for theories. Oh, <laughs> conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My favorite. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do fan art and fiction as well. Some of you fanfic maybe, writers as well. Maybe mm -hmm. for our fan art, it can just be myth breakers. Uh, hmm. you know. Okay. I mean, well, that yeah, might be nice. What, if anybody else has any ideas for <laughs> hollow myth breaker. Yeah. Mm, that could be good because we are hollow myth. Hollow myth. Mysteries. <laughs> yeah, uh, I get it. Mysteries. <laughs> pretty good. Oh, for the theories. Yeah. Myth theories. Yeah. yeah. Ah, myth. Theories. Ah, that's that's great. That's a great idea. Myth theories. Ah, so it's like you said separate. mystery, but with a lisp. Mystery. Yeah. Uh, mysteries. mysteries. <laughs> that's good. Of course, Sasuga. Sasuga. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the fan art name is. Miss Breakers, or we're trying to find that one. Um, let's just put it. Well, we're uh -huh. still kind of thinking about it. I think that it, it works if if we can't come up with like a a different one. Miss Breakers. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Just for art and general fan content, because choosing a name that has like art in it isn't exactly accurate. Just because you know, if people are getting creative with like fan fiction, that kind of thing. Um, uh, yeah, it might just be better to have, like, kind a of art. <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. It, it is art, but, like, if there's, like, some kind of, I guess, pun or play on words in regards to drawing, maybe we should, like, mm. stay oh, away from that. So, somebody in chat said there's, like, a double meaning to mysteries because it's, like, my theories. Oh! oh. That's dang oh, smart. That. Wow. Huge brain! Big brain. Yeah. Now. <laughs> brain, there are layers. For the BGM, I saw Wato Tones. <laughs> Wato Tones? <laughs> Wato Tones? I kind of love that, though, to be honest. Yeah. That's kind of dope. Uh, something more all encompassing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's true, that's true. Yeah. We could do something. It's, it's good, but <laughs> I guess. Doshio ka na? BGM myth themes. Okay, like theme music. That's not bad. Ah, myth themes. Yeah. Ah, my themes. My I wonder themes. if there's a lot of um stuff in the tag. Yeah, stuff I mean, in the tag. Let's check. Yeah, let's go check. For Hunter Myth, it was fine. There was like one person who posted. So or or fine. D DJ Myth sounds like a DJ. Yeah, but ah, I bet. DJ I wonder if there is a if there is like a DJ oh. myth <laughs> who's like a. <"Ay." laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Myth, myth, tunes. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to have. I know you guys are gonna want to go wild with those memes, so um. Meme. <laughs> How about we, we can do we can do meme breakers. Um, yeah. Let's go with that. That's nice and easy. Gosh, that's so edgy, but I. Gosh, it it it, it fits. It fits somehow. I'll take it. Oh, B BG Myth is not bad either. Yeah, I wanted to say ah, that. Ah, BG Myth. Mm. Yeah, maybe let's go with that. The BGM in, in capital and the rest in small, but you're yeah, fine. BG, BG Myth is, uh, it's not that used, so I think it's good. Okay, let's go with that. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Mm. Sounds good. It looks good to me. All right. Does this looks look good, good for you guys? So Looking good. Years. General yeah. myth breakers uh, for fan content. Let's see. Fan, fam content, fan content. Okay, and then let's see. BGM, and then of course. Oh, myth tapes would be cool too because mixtapes, myth tapes. Ah, <gasps> uh, that's also pretty good. Uh, I think I like that one even better. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Myth it does sound like mixtape. Myth, myth tape. tapes. Myth tape. <gasps> Nothing for myth tapes. It's, it's free real estate. Oh, <laughs> heck yeah. Myth tape. Okay. Let's oh, go I with that. A, a, a pl plural, maybe? <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Myth tape? Oh, yeah. Myth tape. Is, yeah, myth tapes is totally free. <laughs> All right. Myth there we go. Wait. What is, what is so yummy? 
Nothing. Don't worry what? about it. We're moving on. We're moving on. I had a mistype. Just awesome. we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on. All right. So we've got Hunter Myth for general, Myth Breakers for fan content, Myth Myth Tape for BGM, and Myth Theories for fan theories and Meme Breakers for memes. Mm. Go. <laughs> Just, just, just because it, everything else is um, uh, plural, can we make myth tape also plural? Myth oh, tapes? that's also a good yeah, idea. Thank you. Let's go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Myth tape. This, this was a myth take. Thank you, Chad. That was funny. That was a myth take. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. All of you are enough. Enough. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh. All right, so here are the hats. Yeah. <laughs> you guys went nuts. These are some good hashtags, I will say. Yatta. Yeah, like yeah. All right. Heck yeah. Fudge, 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 we did it. Please use them lots. Yes, yes, yes. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with and please anticipate uh, our first tutorial session. I don't know like what order we're going to go in, um, but basically the way it's going to work is that next month, um, everyone will basically each once per week um have uploaded or streamed a tutorial stream or a lore video uh, in regards to the characters i'm gonna help make them don't worry you guys i'm i'm 100 percent gonna help you guys with all that stuff um thank you and yeah mm. so you guys can check them out once a week and then the following month um of july is when we start playing the game um mm. yeah so for the first season there will be five sessions each time they will be on a different person's channel Mm -hmm. And we will be playing once every other week. Yes, yes. Yeah. So please <laughs> anticipate that. Yay! Yay! Please, of course, yes! a lot of work. Thank you, Callie. Thank yeah, you no, guys. thank you guys. Thank, thank you guys. I feel like through this, uh, this is also a great um, way for us to bond. We've already bonded so much, but if we're doing this weekly... You know, being creative together, having fun together, telling mm -hmm. stories together. It's going to mm -hmm. be a great bonding experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Team mm. exercise. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Team bonding, mm. yes. I'm yeah. looking forward to it too. And it's more of a chance to talk to you guys, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. By the way, did you, did you mention that you, you, you see it as, an, as a possibility that later on others could join this? Yeah, I mean, I'd really like uh, to bring someone new in every season, but there's also, like, uh, the situation where maybe you guys get kind of busy um, and can't play all the time, or maybe uh, you just aren't really, like, into the game very much, which is totally fine. No big deal, because, like, these kinds of games aren't for everyone. If that's the case, um, then we'll, we'll come up with a, a dope exit for your character, and then maybe invite um, another member from, from Holopro to come hang out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds and then good. We'll have to make a character, yeah. So please anticipate. The future is looking very fun. We're gonna go back to our fireplace room. Ooh, yeah. cozy, cozy. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. So, um, do you guys have any announcements before we say bye bye? Get no. Yes. Okay. Oh, I let's have an announcement. It. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'll be having a charity stream for uh, an animal shelter, like a sort of animal charity organization on June 5th. Uh, and yeah, it'll have like a bunch of goals and stuff, you know, when we reach certain amounts. And so pretty much this is like a test run. So, you know, in the future we could uh, do other charity or like fundraiser streams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay! That sounds so awesome. I'll visit. Yes. Heck yeah. Thank you for, for opening up that possibility for us, Watson. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I love it. Yeah. Can't wait to tune in. I'm very excited. Thank you. Heck yeah. I will definitely be tuning in. So you guys tune in too, okay? Everyone in chat. Expect you to be there. Take your promise. Yeah. Heck yeah. And what did Kiara? Kiara, you had an announcement too, right? Yeah, too. Uh, on Saturday, uh, we are changing up. Like, whole talk until now had a fixed time, but whole talk uh, time is changing. Uh, please check out. The schedule because this time is a special episode, tenth episode, and the guest will be you might already know, Echan. Echan. Ah. Ah. 
Yes, yes. A uh, very special episode. We probably, like, up until now, whole talk was more about, you know, we talking about the guest, finding out more things about the guest. But since the guest this time is Echan, we will um, talk a lot about, like, the de like mm, stuff about the company. You can ask a lot of questions. I'll be recording questions soon. So if you have, like, more in depth question, in depth <laughs> questions about the company, uh, please uh, think about uh, your questions and send them to me soon. I'll be tweeting it out. Uh, so that is the whole talk 10th episode And then on Sunday uh, I am doing my one, Hopefully 1 million subscribers uh, Endurance 12 hour stream Marathon Let's go <laughs> It's finally time um, So I, I'm preparing a lot of different Content that uh, we will Suffer through in 12 hours of streaming on Sunday. I think Heck anyone yeah. can catch it at, at, least, uh. at least some point of time. <laughs> Yay! Good luck! Fighto, fighto. Yes, Fighto, you yes, can do it. Fighto. I am cheering for you. Despite the fact yeah. that you are trying to beat my record, I respectfully, <laughs> I'm, I'm supporting you. Well, that's I'm supporting you. you I that. first had the record and then you broke it with your endurance thing. And I was, you know, sometimes I've been streaming so long uh, where I was getting close to beating the record, but I was like, I don't want this stream to be the one. It has to be a special stream. So there wow. we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm, All that's, right. that's it for me. Can't wait to see. Heck yeah. Mm. Very cool. Gura, mm. do you have anything? No, not today. Okie dokie. How about you, Ina? Uh, not... I don't think so. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. Yeah, mm. I think the only thing I have to announce is that I'm posting a new song. Yeah. It's going to be... Yeah, you guys heard it. I, I sent it to you guys. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, but I hope you guys like it. It's a cover song and it'll be out on May 31st, JST, late at night. So hopefully it'll be an okay time oh, for everyone. Good. Tune yeah, in yeah, yeah. to the premiere. Heck yeah. It's a song I've wanted mm -hmm. to cover for a long time, so I hope you guys like it. Yeah, I like it already. <laughs> Yatta! Thank you so much, you guys. And thank you everyone who came to tune in to the character creation stream. I get to go sleep! Yatta! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think some of you guys are heading to bed too, yeah. yeah. I was actually, I was gonna stream after this, but uh, I didn't really sleep last night either, so I, I, might, I think I'll just take a nap instead. So you guys, I don't know if anybody's streaming after this, but I think you guys will be pretty, uh, chat will be alone. Oh, so sad. <laughs> so alone. Oh no, you just have Aww. to anticipate the next one, I suppose. Yeah! Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah me and... Me and Kelly are on Watame Senpai's channel tomorrow with Iofi Senpai. Free oh. uh, four person collab. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ah. Very exciting. Can't Can wait. Play a game? Yeah. Yes. Ultimate, Ultimate Chicken, Chicken Horse. Horse. Oh, that oh, game is that's really a good fun. One. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exciting stuff. Can't wait. Hope you guys mm -hmm. hope you guys tune in if you have some free time. Mm. Will do. Yada. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming to, to cheer us on uh, as we made these characters. Super Chats will be read at a different time. Um, just for people that are coming now who want to watch the stream over again, um, you guys can do that in a minute. But we need to go say goodbye um, first. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming. And it was very fun! Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eventually, eventually, I want to come up with like a cool way to like say goodbye and end these streams, like a like a yo clap, like kind of thing. Um, but we'll we'll do that later. We'll do that later. For now, I think we can just say bye bye. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon during our next adventure. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye guys. Peace.